Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, stoners alike. How are you guys doing? I hope everyone's doing well today. I'm definitely doing all right, not too bad. Uh, welcome to the Wake and Bake stream. We're going to be doing some Death Road to Canada and uh, some uh, Jackbox games to end it as well. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want to jump into the Jackbox games here in like about an hour, uh, definitely be on the lookout for that. And uh, it's going to be a good day. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm looking... Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to this because uh, Death Road to Canada is definitely a very good game. Really liked it ever since I first like seen it and downloaded it. And uh, man, you just you just can't beat it. It's it's uh, it's pretty damn good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, with Death Road to Canada, I also throw in. Uh, I'll also be throwing in names of people in the chat and stuff like that so that we could run into you during the the gameplay and stuff like anubis what's up anubis thank you so much for joining us i appreciate that anubis says hello hello mr stoney well thank you thank you very much for joining us anubis hello hello to you as well and uh yeah like i said uh we're gonna be doing some death road to canada jackbox games um so let's let's uh or wait you know what before we start the game we gotta we gotta start this off right it's the wake and bake stream so we gotta I just awoke, so we must bake as well. Got my bong ready. So, um, yeah, let's let's take a hit. One second. Hey, we got Osrael in the chat as well. What's up, Osrael? Thank you for joining. About to take a bong hit to start this this stuff off. Uh, let's see. Today I'm smoking, uh, let's see, some Fire OG, some good stuff. Fire OG right here. Come on. There we go. Nice. That actually focused in pretty quickly there. <laughs> but hell yeah, let's do this. <laughs> oh, and check out my shirt too. <laughs> uh fucking I, I think it's hilarious <laughs> a cat pouring out some milk for the homies that's funny <laughs> uh, Anubis says I downloaded Death Road to Canada as an app on my phone so I could play it whoa I didn't even know they had it on the phone that's crazy that's a fucking awesome I did not know that Anubis you just uh, taught me something new I'm gonna have to look that up holy crap <laughs> But all right, so we do have our boss bar at 420 health points there. Um, if we kill that off, we will definitely be doing some overtime today. I don't think, I'm pretty sure I don't have any uh, any other things to do today. I don't have any other responsibilities, so we could we could definitely stream all day if, if, if that's what you guys want to do, you know? <laughs> but hell yeah, let's make sure we got Anubis's name in here as well. Custom characters. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, we do have Anubis. I think that was the newest one that we did. Sweet. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so, new game. Choose game slot. Stony with two others. Oh, I think this is our last game. But, uh, you know, we'll we'll start a new game just for the sake of today. Hey, we got Adiel in the chat as well. What's up, Adiel? Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate that. Adiel says, I'm here. Nice. I, I'm, I'm glad, man. I'm glad to. I'm, I'm very happy to see you all the time. Definitely some good stuff. Okay, so leader, Stony, buddy. Um, let's see, who are we gonna have as a buddy today? You know what? Since uh, since Anubis was the first one I saw in the chat today, Anubis will be my buddy right now. <laughs> Adiel says streaming all day would be awesome, man. I would love to do it. Definitely would love to do it. And I mean, as long as we're killing that health bar and everybody's having fun, you know, I'm I'm definitely down. I'm definitely down. All right, game mode. What are we going to be doing? Uh, familiar characters, I would say. Most re recruits you meet are now familiar characters instead of random. These characters that you have created. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what we want. That's exactly what we want. Um, okay, let's do this. Nice. Damn, look at that pimp-ass car. We fucking escaped the, the zombie apocalypse in a pimp pimp mobile. Stony hears rumors that Canada is a safe place free of the threat of zombies with nothing to gain from with nothing to gain from waiting around Florida he decides to brave the death road and travel north if your characters all have full health fighting off bandits will usually not kill any of them sweet hit the road let's do this 
To start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. In order to survive the death road, you'll need to hoard as many supplies as you can. You will also need to find ways to train and grow your team. All right, all right, we could definitely do that. Ways to train and grow your team. Who are we gonna, or where are we gonna go? I think Yalmart might have the shit we need. House on the road, possibly. Quiet factory, not so much. I'm thinking Yalmart will have some food, some, some, uh, some weapons, a little bit of everything. So let's do that. Adiab says, unfortunately, I can't stay. I have to study, but I wish you a great stream. Yeah, no worries, Adiab. Thanks for popping in, dude. I definitely appreciate that, if anything. And uh, we'll definitely see you next time. And uh, yeah, no, no worries, dude. I appreciate you popping in either way. All right, so we got a mild swarm size. Aggression is sluggish like normal. You know, we, this is basically how it always starts out near noon. So we're not going to really need no flat, no flashlights. Oh, nice. Anubis has a cane. That, that'll come in handy. I have a mop. I don't know how how much a mop will come in handy, but that's cool, I guess. All right. Got to remember how to play this again. Oh, I'm using the mouse. No need to use the mouse here. Oh, putting away my mop. Need the mop. You know what? I would like one of these carts to push, not to throw, but, you know, whatever. That worked. Worked just fine. Smack these guys with my broom or mop, whatever. Whatever you want to, whatever you want to, what, what, uh, what call it? <laughs> I couldn't say that. It didn't want to come out. Whatever you want to call this, what call it? That's what I wanted to say. Hit him with the spine. Fuck that. Fuck that zombie up with that other zombie's spine. I mean, he already ate him. You might as well finish him off. It's a little bit of revenge for the zombie that got ate. Oh, there's a hammer. There's a hammer. Come on. Stony with a hammer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's up? What's up? How you feel? Nice. Anubis got his cane. Stony's got a hammer. You know, we should we should probably we should probably trade a couple things really quick. Let's see. I'll give I'll give Anubis the mop. That way we're evenly spaced. I've got a spine and a hammer. <laughs> Anubis has a cane and a mop. I feel pretty confident about that. What's up? Oh, yeah. Love me that cart action. The zombies don't even know what to do when when you're throwing that cart in they in their face. Oh, what's up, zombie, Mr. Zombie Man? Oh, damn, we're gonna be getting tired if we keep going like this. Let's move around. Let's let's uh let's corral the horde. Make sure that they're uh make sure that they're uh going in a circular motion, following the horde. You know, making making sure we got everybody. Oh, audio or Azriel says there's no game audio. How odd. Okay, one second. Kill that Zambi. Hmm. All right, let's see here. How about now? I mean, my uh, my OBS is showing uh, game audio and stuff. Uh, maybe it was just too low. I don't know. Or you know what? I I bet the sound on here is really low too. Uh, we'll put that at like thirty five. All right, let me know if that's too high or too low or too whatever. It looks like it's kind of high on my OBS. We'll turn it down a little bit. Let me know how that is. I think that should be I think that should be okay. All right, yeah, let me Azrael says nothing. Hmm. That's odd. Um, let's see here. I think I got an idea. How about now? I think that might have did something. That should have did something. That had to have done something. <laughs> I'm not too sure to be quite honest, but I think it did something. Let's see. All right, all right, let's continue. Oh, Azrael says, there you go. Okay, I, I know what the problem was. I had it on a, mo like, a, so you can make it so, uh, so, okay, a while back, you guys remember me asking about how you uh, how you make it so you could hear your voice through the through the headphones. Well, I did did a little bit of digging into that and figured out how to do it. But in learning how to do that, you could also uh, figure out how to put other audio through the headphones and monitor it and stuff like that without it coming out to you guys. That way, I could hear something and you guys can't, you know. But uh, 
so that's basically what happened. I had it on monitor, but mute. Uh, I had my, my game audio on monitor, but mute instead of uh, monitor and uh, and play or whatever monitor and whatever the hell it says oh god Stony's tired Stony's real tired let's change to Anubis smack him with that broom you got this you got this Anubis I believe in you I believe in us get that cane out oh yeah oh yeah that cane never came in so much handy I think we got everything no we didn't there was a couple there was another door that we didn't go through shit I'm getting I got so focused on the game audio I'm Losing, losing track of where we are. There we go. There we go. Oh, damn. That cart comes in handy. Get down on the flow. Get down. Hit the flow. There we go. Got more, more toilet gas. The more toilet gas, the merrier. Oh, no. Eh, whatever. I'll take him. I'll take him for now. We'll we'll break his we'll break his bones on on the other zombies' bodies. There we go. That that feels uh that feels nice and nice and proper. That feels like some good revenge. Oh, hitting the car. Shouldn't hit the car. All right, let's get the let's get the hell. Oh yeah, get the hell out. Oh. All right. So we got three food, three gas, two medical, and twelve pistol ammo. Now all we need is to find a pistol. All right. Sweet. One of my keys is jamming on me. I gotta see what the hell's up with that. Man, this keyboard is kind of sensitive. There we go. Perfecto. It's a really nice keyboard, but it's really sensitive. <laughs> Anubis says that's Steve the Skeleton, our new buddy. <laughs> right? He's really good at hitting enemies with his head. <laughs> that's funny. Alright. The group sets up camp for the night. After being sure there's no danger here, they discover edible they discover edible berry bushes all around the campsite. The berries wouldn't be a big amount of food for the For the what? Oh wait. There we go. <laughs> For the work and the sleepless night, but every bit could help. Hmm. Should we pick berries or should we go to sleep? I mean, we do have a little bit of food. I mean, but staying up all night won't be that bad. Um, and, you know, we have Steve as well, so, uh, you know, we, we can pick the berries. The group picks berries all night and puts them into whatever containers are handy. The group eats a decent meal. Nice. We got eight more eight. We got eight plus food. Plus eight more food. Some good shit. That didn't even seem to really do much. We might be a little tired, but we're fully healed, fully full. Our my wounds are treated. Anubis knows how to do medical stuff, so that's good. We should probably take another bong hit. Stony really feels that he has to sneeze. This feeling drags on, but there's no sneeze. <laughs> this may turn into one of those times a sneeze is lost. Combined with the pressure of the zomp zompocalypse, this could be this could break Stony's morale. That'd be messed up. Stoney just needs to take a big bong hit and he'll be alright. <laughs> uh, should we try to <coughs> try to sneeze? Snort spicy food? Oh hell no, who would do that? Uh, smash self on nose. Try to sneeze. Stoney can't sneeze on command. He loses the sneeze. It's very annoying. Well, that's, that's unnecessary. <laughs> nope, dropped my lighter. The group drives into a city as it starts to get dark. They try not to lose track of time. Things can get bad after the sun sets. Your zombie forecast is swarm size sparse, aggression sluggish. So we're still all right. It's near sunset, we should still be okay. Pet shop or the police station? We'll definitely find guns at the police station. Pet shop, ah, we might find baby over there, but I don't know about anything else. Let's go to the police station. <laughs> Israel puts the the inhale command into Nightbot. I could definitely take another hit. I think we would. I don't think we'll need the flashlight, but you know what? We'll, we'll take it. We'll take it just in case. Take that spine as well. Oh, Nuba still has still has uh, Steve 
the mop and the cane. Okay, 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 that looks pretty good. All right. And let's take another hit again. Oh yeah. The one thing I really like about that Venom Bong is that bowl is like a damn party bowl. Like straight up a party bowl, man. Like my entire, like almost my entire thumb can fit inside of it. So if you load that thing full, dude, oh. You could pass that around for like hours without having to refill it. And then there's a little trick that I like to call uh, other side of the pillow where you're, where you're like once you start thinking that your bowl is going to be cached or whatever. When you have a big bowl like that, normally you could uh, you could get a poker and flip it and it turns back all, all to greens, you know, it, it turns into greens again. So it's like it's like flipping to the other side of the pillow, you know, it's a lot more comfortable. It's a lot it's a lot better, you know. You know, like when you're trying to sleep, the other side of the pillow, uh, the other side of the pillow is fresher. You know, it's colder. It's, it's like uh, something you save for like right before you're about to fall asleep. That way, it's uh, uh oh, uh oh, Anubis is tired. Let's go back to Stony. But uh, yeah, that's that's a little thing I like to call. Whenever you see all those greens are there, whenever you flip it. <laughs> Oh yeah, Anubis says that's cool. Yeah, the I finally set up the night bot. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Azrael, thank you for putting out those commands. That list will uh, send you to uh, the list of commands that I've set up for the for the for the night bot. Hold on, my my thing is still sticking again. My keyboard. <laughs> I don't know which which key went went where. I'm in trouble now. Okay, that key went there. Um, yes, yes. Okay, that seems to be right. I think I might have the up and down ones. Yeah, no, that should be right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. All right, let's continue on. Tony still got his hammer. Anubis is getting a little tired. Give Anubis a little bit of a break real quick. Use Steve as a as a human shield real quick as well, just in case. Keep ourselves uh, keep ourselves nice and armed. Make sure we survive the night, survive the the encounter here at the police station or whatever this place is. I thought it was a police station. It said it was. Oh no, there's a there's a, there's a dead like dog skeleton. How sad. Baby didn't survive the apocalypse. It seems. Why, baby? Why? Why didn't you just follow me into battle? We could have both survived. Oh, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the F out. No, 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 no. I ain't dealing with all that. Those, uh, those damn, uh, zombies can go, go eat themselves. There we go. There we go. Brains all over the flow. You would think splitting a, a zombie open and, like, getting his brains all over the place would distract other zombies to eat the zombie. Oh, God, I, I locked him in this out. That wasn't good. Made it so that I'd have to fight myself. Oh, 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 get out, get out. Oh, yeah, here we go, here we go. This is what we're looking for. Looking for stuff. Did we get a gun? No, huh? Okay. Just, just checking. Just making sure. Smack him with that, with that hammer. That zombie hammer. Okay. Okay. We all right. We all right. All we gotta do is survive. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. We just gotta get through the zombie maze. Oh, God. Get through alive. Get out of there, Anubis. We got this, buddy. We got this. We just straight, um, we just jacked all of that shit. And, you know, just zigged and zagged and got, got in and out. That's all it took. Noise. That was very noise. Alright. Zambi mask guy. I don't know what the hell was up with that. Was this, this ain't no police station. I didn't see no police stuff. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Man. Jail is not fun. Never go to jail, guys. That's uh, Stony Tark's tip of the day. Don't go to jail. <laughs> yeah, finish him off, Anubis. Thank you. Fuck, we need to find us a pistol or a shotgun or something. We need something. 
because I know Stoney's getting tired too. I don't know if Anubis has gotten any rest yet, but it's hard to say because we've been we've been battling our way through these zombies. You know, I think the best place in, in a zombie apocalypse would probably be locked behind a a cell. You know, something the zombies can't get into, and you, you could die on your own terms. You know, maybe you you starve to death. It'd be a lot better than getting eaten. You know, I'll tell you that much. Oh no, Steve! Steve is gone. We broke Steve. It's okay. Steve wasn't as much as good as he used as a gun. If we find a gun, Steve's death will not be in vain. Come on, gun. Anubis seems to have gotten a little bit of a break. He's gotten his uh, his his uh, wind back. He's got his strength back. We could start smacking people with that that cane again. Oh 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 oh! Stone is getting in some of that action as well. Man, listen to that music. Ooh, we got us a nightstick here. Nice. I'm sure I'm sure Steve would have rather rather us have a night. Hey, there's another Steve. We don't really need Steve though. We found us a gun though. Who can use the gun? Oh, you know what? Yeah, Stony Stony needs to use the the flashlight if anything. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? A knife? Is that like a shiv? That's pretty good. I think the shiv's good. Okay, we'll give Anubis the. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, we'll do this. We'll give Anubis all the good like hitting weapons. That way, Stony has the revolver and the flashlight. No, I think the person who doesn't have the revolver should have the flashlight. So yes, 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 yes. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm getting a little, a little. Uh... Oh jeez, that freaking that bullet bounced all over the place. We got pipe bombs over here too. What am I doing? There we go. We'll, we'll give them to Anubis. Where? You know what? No, 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 no. We'll get rid of that mop. We'll get rid of that map. No one, no one here needs a map. Nope. Get the mop out. There we go. Grab the cane. Stop, stop smacking Anubis with the damn, with the damn mop. Okay. There we go. There we go. Get the rest of the pipe bombs. Pipe bomb. Pipe bomb. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe we should take the hammer instead of the cane as well. Yes. Hammer. It's hammer time. Bum, ba, da, bum, bum, bum. Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> That's salt and pepper. What am I doing? <laughs> God, I must, I must already be very high. Let's keep that. Let's keep that revolver out. That Red Dead Red revolver. Man, how excited are you guys for Red Dead Redemption, too? That shit is going to be crazy. I'm, I'm pretty hyped up like I wasn't really too hyped up about it at first But then I don't know I seen a little bit more I started watching more of the trailers and you know getting getting a little taste for it And man, it looks like it's gonna be awesome. I actually did beat all of Red Dead Redemption the the first one Well technically the second because there's Red Dead Redol Revolver, right? So te technically Red Dead Redemption is the second game in the line, but uh yeah, I did all of Red Dead Redemption, and I I do remember enjoying the hell out of it. So the second one is probably gonna be fucking awesome as hell. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. We don't we don't need we don't need to spend any more time. Anubis says I'm excited for Red Dead Redemption 2, Kingdom Hearts 3, and Fallout 76. Oh yeah, definitely Kingdom Hearts 3 especially. Oof, oof. I've been I've been excited for Kingdom Hearts 3 ever since I played Kingdom Hearts 2, you know? Like I've been waiting what what has it been like like 10, 12 years or something? Something like that since since Kingdom Hearts 2. And oh my god, man. Kingdom Hearts was my all-time favorite games of like my my childhood uh generation and stuff like just my entire PlayStation 2 era of games i would definitely say kingdom hearts was that that top of that list and even now i fucking love it i i bought the remixes on the ps3 i need to get them on the ps4 there's gonna be an ultimate one that's gonna have one two three and all of the other games like it, i seen somewhere that it's like kingdom hearts ultimate and then it's kingdom hearts one two three uh all of the side ones like uh birth by sleep 365 by whatever days whatever the fuck that one is i can't I, I don't know i never really played the side games i've like seen videos and stuff but um yeah it's gonna be fucking awesome 
The group goes against their judgment and camps in a city apartment because there's no zombies around. When they wake up, the building is on fire. Uh-oh. Um, uh, let's run out. Like, what, what else are we going to do? The group runs out of that situation. Unfortunately, a lot of supplies got left behind that weren't in the car. Fuck me sideways. Well, we don't have a shotgun, so that doesn't really matter. But seriously, why did you have to... Why did you bring the pistol ammo and leave the... Sh I, I don't understand. Why? 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 <laughs> uh, maybe I should have planned more. I don't know what, what I was thinking. The group eats a decent meal. How much food do we have left? 12? Okay. We're, we're still alright. We're still alright. We got 28 bu bullets still. 28 pistol rounds. We still got that revolver. Anubis says, we've, uh, we've waited too long for Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh yeah, for sure. I agree on that. Bandits appear, all wearing sweatbands and all... All super buff. Even their dog, they, even their dog, they demand protein powder. They will also accept nine food to pass safely. Fuck me, we only have twelve. Uh, more safely. Okay, there was no reason to do that. Um, we could refuse and fight. We're definitely not gonna die. We have some medical, and we'll probably keep most of our food. Stony challenges them to oppose off. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Refuse a fight. Uh, the group knows every single one of their supplies are essential for their chance of reaching Canada. So they fight. Stony is hurt. Anubis is hurt. But we still kept all our stuff. That's all that matters. And we got we got some medical. We're all right. We're all right. It didn't even matter. They they messed with the wrong people. Me and Anubis f them up. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, outside of Canada, most of society and civilized civilization has been destroyed you can still find people engaging in trade with preserved food being the new currency you have 12 food left the group runs into a trade camp we have quite a bit there's only two of us well uh, let's check shit out we might we might be able to get us a rifle or something or maybe even a shotgun the group sees a man standing near an suv do you have any spare gas i'm running out we have 43 trade 25 and when he offers you tw two cans of food for every 25 units. Fuck that. That is a bad trade. No way, buddy. I don't know who you think you are, old man. You ain't gonna freaking... You ain't gonna con me. <laughs> man, what else was I excited for? Oh, yeah, Fallout 76, definitely. I saw more about that today. About, like, the perks. The perk system and stuff like that. It looked pretty cool. It's gonna be pretty nice. I think that's gonna be enjoyable. I haven't played through um, all of uh, Fallout 4 yet, though. That's still on the list. This rifle-wielding woman claims she used to train others in competitive shooting. She is selling tips for keeping your aim steady and multiple target trick shots. Zombies are slow-moving targets. It's real easy. You have 12 food left. Um, six food for training, nine food for group training. Stony uses charm. Let's try the charm. <laughs> Sony accidentally just comes off as creepy. The group is asked to leave. Aw. Okay. Sorry. Jeez. Just wanted to learn how to use my revolver here. That's all. <laughs> the group talks to a meek le looking woman. She invites you to check out her collection of rifles. I found so many that I'm looking to sell some. You have 12 food left. Cowboy rifle for 10 food. Fuck. That would only leave us with two, though. Man, that, those are some steep prices right there. Holy crap. Hey, they have a food truck right here. What are they complaining about? Man, there's more people? Holy crap. What does this dude have? She offers to provide health care in exchange for food. Six meat for treatment. Uh, let's try to use some more charm. Yeah, we convinced the doctor to offer her service for free. He just He's just that charming. Stoney gets a checkup, but there's nothing wrong with him. Okay. I think we were already healed. I think that was like pointless. Louise is hey. I I think I think I think that's one of the people that we made, right? Yeah, Luis Barrientos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is hanging in the camp. He has been waiting for you to show up. <laughs> Let's recruit him, hell yeah. Nice. We got Luis Barrientos in the in the freaking uh, group as well now. Me, Anubis, and Luis. Hell yeah. We're we're, we're, gonna, we're definitely gonna get this shit going Azrael says your cousin uh no Luis Luis isn't my cousin um let's see uh which one I forget what he oh yeah RJM RJM is my cousin 
And then uh, Brandon is one of the friends that usually pops in every once in a while. But uh, yeah, now Luis Barrientos is just uh, one of one of the fellow stoners. Whoa, it's Logan. <laughs> it's nice to see a familiar face. Uh, he was found trying to pull open a door that said push on it. Uh, yeah, let's recruit him as well. Why not? The group accepts Logan to the team. Uh, Logan joins the team onward to Canada. Nice. Hell yeah. And now, just like that, we got us a full party. If we could get solar panels and a couple batteries, it could come in handy. Awesome idea. The group is about to explore a small... Why was Logan, like, f so, so low health? That was weird. Uh, the group is about to explore a small house when they notice that a horde is creeping nearby. Uh, the group will have to hold their ground for a bit before they can escape. Siege alert. There's no escape. Ooh, okay, so we're, we're, we're starting to get our challenge here. We're getting us a challenge here. Siege length, one hour. We got us the gun. Anubis, we... Pro oh damn! I didn't look at what time it was on the, on the, the game. Like what time the horde was starting. Uh, Luis has a, a freaking uh, tennis racket. Logan has a wrench. That's not bad, but he's low health. What is up with that? Um, let's see here. The shiv maybe. We'll, we'll put that flashlight down. You know, we'll we'll give the flashlight to somebody. We'll give it to Logan. And then we'll, uh, Anubis has a shiv and some pipe bombs. I could give up a hammer. Give it to Luis. Logan is good. Okay, okay. I feel, I feel comfortable with this. This feels pretty good. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. We could, we could survive the siege, no problem. We got a full party here. We, we, we needs to find us more food though. We're gonna go hungry. We only have like 10 or something, right? 10 and then we got to divide that by by eight because it's two for each of us or yeah no yeah it'd be eight so yeah so we, we got one day's worth of food here oh damn oh damn it's a siege siege it's a Zam it's a zambi raid <laughs> oh, man those bullets are not going through they're just staying on one zambi and that that's it help me guys let's barricade the door Oh, I don't even think we can go through this door, can we? No, we can't go through the door. Don't barricade that door. Just just run. Run. Get away. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm scared. I'm lost. Okay, okay. Oh, this is not good. We're in a small room, but there's food in here. There's food. There's foods. A couple of Steves. Nice. Nice. A zombie hump in a fridge. That's okay. I'm not... Oh, nice. Siege is over. I was gonna say, I'm not gonna judge. Sweet. Damn, why is this still sticking? I do not like this. This is very annoying. Okay, just tapping it into into submission, you know, making sure it knows who's the boss. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Don't use your fists, Stoney. You're not known for using your fists. Was that it? Okay, sweet. Let's get out of here. Let's, let's skedaddle. I don't think there was any other doors we could go into, so let's go. Right? Was... Damn it, this is still sticking. Motherfucker, what is, what is up with this? Like, it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it, but it keeps somehow... I don't know. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. Oh, you know what? I think I know what it is. Yeah, I know exactly what it is. Okay, there, I have this uh, this arm or this little wrist rest. Watch here. I can show you guys. This thing. <laughs> it's so you could rest your wrist on it, and it keeps... I think it keeps, like, going under the button or something. I think that's what keeps clipping it. I'm not too sure. Uh... Let's check. Let's check around real quick. I'm not too sure if there was actually any other rooms or not. Nope. Nope. Okay. Let's get the F out. Let's skedaddle. Nothing Nothing to see here. We got everything we needed. Nice. At least we got more food. 16. That ain't bad. That's two days worth. More pistol ammo. That's good. That's real good, actually. Oh, our car does not look good. We got 19 gas. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they are uh, getting the hang of this. Uh, choose a reward for the group. Okay. Um, what should we get? Shooting, medical, morale, and random skill gain. 
Stony one plus one to max health. That's pretty nice, but that's pretty selfish as well. Uh, how about medical? All of us getting medical would be really nice, or is that just for me? When it comes to zombie first aid, practice makes perfect. Anubis medical is revealed, not very good. Logan's medical revealed, not good. Stony's medical increases to good, nice. Anubis's medical increases to not great. Okay, not bad. At least my medical uh, my medical skills are somewhat on par. Hey, we got a zombo point as well. We need to spend these too, because after you get to a certain point, uh, they don't they don't uh, you can't get any more. I think you can only have like 12 or something, maybe 20. Ah, the car is out of gas. No more gas. We done skis. The group spots a car speeding down the road. Maybe this stranger can help them. Without slowing down, the driver yells out, NERDS! <laughs> and then the car is gone. Logan's morale decreases. Oh, poor Logan. Maybe, oh, poor all of us. Damn. Horrible. Horrible. What an asshole. <laughs> even, in the, even in a time like this, in a freaking time of apocalypse, people gotta be assholes on the road. The group decides to set up camp for the night, and they try to eat a meal. The group eats a decent meal. Lose food, eight. Louise's morale increases. Nice. While wandering through a small town, Logan discovers a new hybrid car in front of a store. The battery is dead, but the store turns out to be a car parts store. Finding a working bar battery was easy. Hybrid cars have amazing gas mileage, but are fairly fragile. They are also very difficult to rep repair, so enjoy it. Nice. We lost a car, we gained a car. You win some, you lose some. That's that's what happens when you just go uh, go with the flow, the stony way. Let's start it up. Nice. We got us one of those Ford Priuses. Have <laughs> you guys seen yesterday's stream? The Toyota Prius. I call it a Ford Prius. After a long drive, the group finds a safe place to camp. The night passes with no incidents. The group eats another decent meal. Shit, we're out of we're out of food, aren't we? Uh, yep, we are out of food. No bueno. The group is ambushed by a yelling man. He's ranting and raving. He doesn't look particularly dangerous, but those rants are starting to sizzle. What? They're starting to sizzle. <laughs> Say it, don't spray it. <laughs> uh, well, listen to him. Uh, run away, fight him. Um, I guess let's listen to him. Sony listens to the ranting man and tries to reason with him, and the man calms down and explains that he thought the group were bandits. Oh, nice! Or my morale in increases. Logan shows him that they, Logan shows him that they are bandits. Get food, get medical. Did we just rob this dude? <laughs> oh hell no! <laughs> That's fucked up. We just robbed this dude. I guess that works though. Hey, hell yeah! Fucking. You gotta do what you gotta do in a time like this. <laughs> Fucking hey, Logan. Logan was thinking of the good, uh, the good of the freaking, of the group. You know, he d he did what was right. <laughs> Asriel says, well, at first she called it a Dodge Prius. <laughs> did I? <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize that. That's funny. Uh, suddenly, a giant fissure erupts across the road ahead. It's su it's big, super big. That's what she said. The asphalt buckles in either side, making for a pretty sick ramp. Oh no way! We can't. We can't. Not in a Prius. There's no way. Uh, slam on the brakes. Oh, kicks over and slams on the brakes. The group jams forward, buckling all over the seats and dash like crumpled dolls. The car is fine and everything is fine, but everything else hurts like hell. Sony is hurt. Anubis is hurt. Luis is hurt. My morale decreases a little bit. Damn it. Good thing we got a little bit of medical. Okay. Okay. We're, we're still alright for the most part. We're still alright. <laughs> Azrael says, you and I, we're pretty high, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Man, when my, when my dad had called me, I was already like... Like, um... I don't know, whenever I have to go in public very stoned, you know, like, I don't really care because I'm always stoned and it doesn't matter, but the initial thought of it gives me a little bit of, uh, anxiety, and so my, start, my heart starts racing as I'm, like, getting ready to leave the house, but then as soon as I leave, everything's alright, <laughs> but yeah, shit, I was pretty high because I, that's how I know I'm high because I start getting that, that, uh, anxiety attack right, right before I have to do something. 
While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. We're able to pass junkyard, the grocery store. I would say the grocery store would be the best. Oh, yep, yep, Azrael agrees. Grocery store is the best idea. Yep, yep, okay, hell yeah. Nice, that's, that's, uh, two out of three. <laughs> uh. A group spots a big grocery store. Many Zambies roam inside, guarding shelves and storage rooms. Your Z Zambie forecast is moderate. They're uh, irritated, and it's morning. Sweet. That means we don't need any uh, fleshlights. No fleshlight today. All right, all right, all right. Who's gonna be Who's gonna be king today? Um, let's. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Who has what though? I have the gun and the nightstick pipe bombs and the shiv for Anubis. Louise has the tennis racket and a hammer. It's hammer time. And Logan has the ranch. Okay. I think that's okay. That's okay. Um, we will have we'll have Anubis lead right now. Since Louise and Logan don't have full health. Yes. Yes. Good. Good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why, why, why Stoney leading? Whoa, what's going on here? Pull that shiv out. Oh, yeah. What's up? What's up? I got a shiv. Don't fuck with me. I'll shiv all you zambies. Make sure my shiv, make sure all your kids don't grow. If I had a fofo, -fo, that would do the same thing. Oh, what's up? My cart throwing skills are superb. Or Anubis's cart throwing skills are superb. Oh, yeah. Up in the Yalmart. Once again, y'all know me. Oh yeah, shiv that Zambi. That Zambi didn't stand a chance. Oh, oh, we got us, we got us a kitchen knife. That's better than a shiv. I'll take a kitchen knife over a shiv any day. Oh yeah. And I'll take a cart over anything any, any day. Because those carts are damn strong. They're damn deadly to these damn Zambies. Oh, damn Zambi. Get out of my way, Zambi. We got us a group of hungry stra- or, uh, I was gonna say hungry stragglers, but we're not exactly stragglers. We're we're hungry warriors. We're hungry. Uh, we're hungry. All right. <laughs> I didn't know how else to put it. Uh, grab all that food. Grab everything we can. Stony, don't use all that ammunition. We might need it. That's right. <laughs> you better listen before I before I possess and control you myself. <laughs> I am God to these four. <laughs> I am in control. <laughs> That's like some Deadpool shit right there. Like realizing you're in a game. That's some uh, fourth wall breaking type stuff. Okay, back to reality. We found a lot of good stuff so far. We're throwing ammo crates. We're, we're making sure these zombies don't, don't stay alive too long to feed on us. You know, we, we cleared this store out pretty well. Not, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Is there anything else that we might want to look into? Yep, yep, yep. There's another door over here. Ooh, and more supplies. Nice, nice. You know, I think the last time we went into a Yalmart, I didn't grab all the supplies on the shelves. I didn't know that all of these, uh, all of these things were separate supplies. I mean, I should have known that after all the times we played this, right? Like, come on. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, we got more zombies. More zombie attacks. Take those zombies down while they're on the ground. Oh yeah, this is. These are street rules. Those zombies can't f with us. Y'all can't fuck with us. Oh, 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 oh. We got us more zombies. Some, some shotgun bullets. More, more food. Ah, oh, dude, we've been getting a lot of food lately. That is some good stuff. We need the more food, the merrier. Now that we have a full team. Oh yeah, what's up? What's up? Y'all can't fuck with uh, the the 420 Blazing Squad. <laughs> and the same name that I use for my my uh, Persona, my Persona 5 game. To be to be fair though, I started playing that game before I started streaming, so everything on there is just kind of random, you know. If I knew I was if I knew I'd end up streaming it, I probably would have gave it a more a more thought out name. It was just something like I just wanted to get done with the damn tutorial, you know, wanted to get on with the story. So I just named it something random. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
Stony, really need to be careful. Luis is fully healed by Stony. Nice. Whoa, it's it's uh, Daddy Gamer. Nice. It's nice to see a familiar face. He was making tons of noise playing a portable game console at full blast. Nice. Uh, let's see. Who who are we gonna have to let go here to let let Daddy Gamer in? Uh, we'll let go of Luis for now. Luis gets booted. Danny Gamer joins this, the team. Oh yeah, what's up? <coughs> All right. Daddy Gamer said that he had his own car stashed nearby, and that it's a pretty sweet ride. Would you like to switch to Daddy Gamer's car? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. I mean, a Prius is pretty cool, but a pretty sweet ride would probably be better. <laughs> It, it gets late and there's no great place to camp. Uh, solo zombies hobble around in the far distance and one might sneak up on the group while they sleep. Who should stay up and watch? Ooh, uh, I would say Daddy Gamer because the rest of us... Oh, no, 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 I think only only me and Anubis stayed up all night that one night to pick berries, right? Oh, we could just take shifts, right? Yeah, yeah, let's take shifts. That'd be the best idea, I think. The group takes turns sleeping during the night. With a full group, there's enough people to still get plenty of sleep. The group eats a decent meal. Minus eight, sweet. Oh, dude, I didn't even see how much stuff we got out of that last place. Seems like we got a lot. 23 food. Nice. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Swarmed arcade, gas station siege. Ooh wee. Ah oh, man. I don't know how an arcade would really help us in this situation. A gas station siege. Ooh, either way, this is going to be difficult. But I'm up for the challenge. I'm up for the challenge. I think. <laughs> yeah, screw it. Let's do it. Gas station siege. The group spots a gas station that looks fairly untouched. They notice a horde close to the station. Checking it for loot would mean getting stuck there for a while. Siege alert, there's no escape. Large late morning. Okay, so we definitely don't need a flashlight still. I would say let's take another, another bong hit real quick though. Gotta, gotta flip it to the other side of the pillow. Oh yeah. Man, this bowl actually burns the weed pretty, pretty far through, so there wasn't too much of a green on the other side, but still, cheers. Okay, siege like one hour. Fight the siege. We could do this, guys. We could do this. No problemo. Okay. So, we got a hammer that somebody could take. Ooh, what is this? What does he have? Frying pan. Nice. Logan has a freaking frying pan. Um, Daddy Gamer could definitely use more than a broom. Let's give him that hammer. That hammer time. My anaconda don't. No. Uh, let's see here. So shiv, pipe bomb, and a kitchen knife. You, you're hoarding all our good stuff, Anubis. What you doing over here? Nah, seems like everybody's got a good amount of things. You know what? We'll we'll give the shiv to Daddy Gamer. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Anubis, Daddy Gamer, shiv. Well, you know what? We'll give him the broom as well, just in case. Put the kitchen knife up there. Stony has the snub nose and the nightstick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, this is this is starting to look very very good very 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 good. I feel confident I feel very confident about this. Let's do this <clears throat> Oh, yeah, what's up Zambi? Don't fuck with us. Y'all can't fuck with us You know what I want to I want to play that that song that I keep singing just because <laughs> if I don't I'm gonna I'm gonna keep uh I'm gonna keep it's gonna stay in my head you know and I it's, it's, it's gonna bug me one second guys yep. okay, okay, okay. 
let me just turn down the music real quick. There we go. Perfect. Make sure you guys can hear this as well. Nope. One second. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Oh jeez, I didn't know that was going to blow up like that. Holy crap. That was not good. Get the fuck out of there. Y'all can't fuck with us. <laughs> oh, this is perfect for this. Oh no, no. I think that was Logan. Why? Why Logan? <laughs> I think he died in the pipe bomb explosion. Ah, there's a broom in there. <laughs> nice. Poor Logan. He didn't make it through. Nice. More gas. Oh yeah, all kinds of good shit. <laughs> ah, I like that song. That was pretty good. I enjoyed that. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Alright, let's put that music back on from the game. Uh oh, I'm not hearing anything. Game music. Yeah, game music is on. I don't know what I did. <laughs> now my sound just doesn't want to work. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There it is. Sorry about that, guys. Hopefully that wasn't too loud, I apologize. Let me know, let me know if that's loud or not. I don't know, it seems like, it seems like it might be a little too loud on my OBS, but I'm not too sure. Okay. The group spots a group of bandits that have set up a checkpoint on the road. Someone from the team could be sent to distract the bandits so the car, so the car can get through. Uh, it would be... It would have, it would have to be someone calm and tr trustworthy. Group spots bandits. Uh, someone from the team could be sent to distract the bandits so the car can get through. It would be, have to be someone calm and trustworthy. Okay, more. It would have to be someone calm and trustworthy. Um, I don't know who's calm. I'm calm and I, I'm calm and trustworthy. Yeah. I'm sure you guys are too. I, I don't know. I don't know what the skills are in the game though. I can't remember what I've set everybody at. Uh, let's try Stoner. Nope. Uh oh. That's no bueno. That wasn't good. That was no good. <laughs> Stony is sent to distract the bandits, so they leave their car. Stony is sent to distract the bandits, so they leave their car checkpoint. Stony doesn't uh, sell everyone out of the out. Stony doesn't sell everyone out to the bandits. He distracts them from afar and runs. They give chase and the car is able to get past. Stony panics while retreating. He ends up not following the plan right and gets hurt. Uh oh, that's no bueno. Stony sneaks around the checkpoint later and rejoins everyone. Nice. Well, yeah, it technically worked, right? <laughs> Fuck, we don't have too much medical either. Hey, we got Travis Keys. What's up? Travis is uh gonna join the team. Looks like, yeah, because... 
freaking Logan, Logan didn't make it through that last run, so might as well get Travis in here. <laughs> the group accepts, accepts Travis to the team. Travis joins the team. Onward to Canada. All right, nice. That's good. We still have quite a bit of food, quite a bit of gas. We just need some medical, if anything. Travis is the only one that has a good amount of uh, health. It's nearly time to camp, but there has been a lot of signs of bandits today. Someone needs to be awake in case of an attack. Who should stay up on watch? Uh, we should... Fuck. Um, I tried to get Stoney to do that. Anubis. Uh, let's try Anubis. I don't know. Oh, it looks like Anubis did good. Uh, Anubis stands guard for the night. He falls asleep almost instantly. Shit. The next morning, a bunch of supplies are missing. No! Why, Anubis? Why? <laughs> uh, it's all good, though. We still got quite a bit of stuff. We still got quite a bit of stuff. It's okay. Oh, I can feel we're going to run into something good, Anubis says. Yes, hopefully. The group is traveling close to nightfall and sees a city in the distance. The Zambies grow more aggressive as the sun sets. New Zambi forecast is swarm size, mild, aggression, irritated. That doesn't sound bad. Current time near sunset. Infested stronghold or a Kathy Shap? I would say the Kathy Shap. I'm, I'm gonna go with the, I'm gonna go with the Kathy Shap. What does Travis have on him? He has an axe. That's not bad, Travis. Oh hey! Hey! Daddy Gamer picked up a shotgun somewhere. That's real good. That's real nice. That means we could give that shiv over to Travis. That is good shit. Travis now has an axe and a shiv. Daddy Gamer has a shotgun with seven bullets and a hammer. Anubis has a knife, some pipe bombs, and I have a nightstick and a snub nose pistol revolver. But our health is very low, I don't know. <laughs> Israel says the stronghold would have more supplies. That is very true. I was I was thinking more about food. But, you know, we do have quite a bit of food, so that was probably the wrong choice, honestly. But, uh, you know, I guess it's too late now. <laughs> I should have I should have thought about it. I should have thought about it a little more. Why can't we get into any of these homes? Here we go. Pipe bombs. I think the pipe bombs would be a little, a little too strong at this point right now. Maybe here in a second. <laughs> Oh yeah, more medical. We could always use more medical. That's what that's that's my favorite saying. We could always use more medical. Nice, more food, more food. Very, very good for food. That's actually awesome. Awesome as hell. Oh, get back, get back. You don't know me like that. Finish him off, guys. There you go. Somebody, I think. Uh, I think Daddy Gamer got him with the hammer. Oh, it's a it's a homeless zombie. Oh, we have no business in here. Let's get out. Let's skedaddle. No need. No need. Oh yeah, that zombie didn't know what hit him. Oh, looky here, a whole bucket list of bullets. Even though there was only five, and they were rifle bullets, I believe. But still, not bad. Not bad. Oh yeah, take Jason out. What is that? I don't know what that is. I oh, knitting net, knitting net, knitting needle. Uh, I thought it said knitting necklace at first. Ah, oh, that that uh drawer was already looted. All this stuff is already looted in here. This is no bueno. Oh oh oh, we got some bullets here though. Some pistol bullets. Those should have went to Stony if anything though. Look at me talking, talking about myself in the third dimension. <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, a lot of this is actually already looted. What's up with that? What's up with that? Somebody just took that Zambi the f out. He just exploded like, like the Fourth of July. All right, all right, all right. Nothing left in here but Zambi guts and and Zambi butts. Let's get the f out. No need to keep exploring. No need to keep exploring like that. This house might still have some stuff. Ooh, a pistol. Un pistola. Nice. Un pistola for my cola. Oh, and another axe. Nice. Let me ask you a question, Daddy Gamer. Would you like a new, a brand new axe? I think you would. I think you would. Let's go back to Anubis real quick. Pick up that ammo. 
that pistol ammo. All right, we got Pistol Pete and Revolver, the problem solver, and all kinds of goodies. This this turned out to be a really nice place. The stronghold probably would have had some good stuff, but this this actually worked out. Oh damn, there's zombies up in here. Oh, get back, get back! You don't know me like that. Oh damn, oh damn, we're gonna pipe bomb. Oh, get out of there, get out of there. Let's skedaddle. Did it, did it, did it work? Did it bomb him? Did we get him? Did we get Osama? I think we did. We got him. Man, a, a, a flashlight would have been nice. Am I right? <laughs> Damn me and my non-flashlight getting kitchen knife. Could anyone use a kitchen knife? Stoney could. Oh, Travis could as well. Kitchen knife. Noise. That's not a knife. Now this is a knife. Uh, I forget how to get out of here. How do we skedaddle? Oh, hey, there's some new stuff. We haven't been through here yet. Oh, yeah. Hit him with the chair, Travis. I believe in you, buddy. Oh, no. I, I just got a piece of wood. I traded something for a piece of wood. There we go. Kitchen knife. Sweet. <laughs> Osriel says, luck of the bong. <laughs> Osriel also asks if I have a flashlight for someone. I do have flashlights, but not with us. I think the flashlights are in the car. I didn't bring them. I didn't bring them with me, sadly. Even though it was sunset. I, I really should have. I didn't even like think about it. Like I even read that it was sunset, so there was a reason to bring them. And yet I didn't. Oh damn, another pipe bomb would be nice. It's okay, it's okay. We're getting out of there. We got out, we got out. It's nice and smoothly. Oh Jesus. Use that hatchet man, he's the hatchet man. Oh, whoa, a zombo point. Noise, noise. Now let's just golden corral him. Golden corral him around and let's get the F out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just like that, just like that, son. It's like that, son. Uh, let's go to a Yes, yes, Anubis, yes. That way we can use that pistol if we need to. And those pipe bombs. Oh yeah, what's up? What is this? What are this? Was this is this R? Yes, it is. Sweet. Uh who can take the flashlight? Stony could. Oh yeah, Stony definitely could. It's all up to you, Stony, and the flashlight holding carrying powers are bestowed upon you. Oh yeah, what's up? Hell yeah, Stony. He's a, he's a good boy. Getting that flashlight out. It's probably too late for that. We're probably not going to find any. Oh, here we go. I didn't even think about that. We didn't even come into the coffee shop yet. The coffee shop. Oh, I keep attacking the chairs instead of grabbing them. Oh, no. Don't don't leave the kitchen knife for a piece of wood. The, the piece of wood is not worth it. An enormous and complex coffee machine was built to survive in a few different kinds of end of the world scenarios. This was a big part of this coffee shop's marketing campaign. Truth in advertising, it still works. Uh, Nubis gets some coffee. He sprays some caffeine into an old cup lying around and then drinks it. He feels all coffeeed up. <laughs> nice. Anubis is coffeeed up. Let's see if we can coffee up everybody else too. Stoney gets some coffee. St uh, Stoney feels coffeeed up. Nice. Okay. Coffeeed up. Nice. Okay, how about Travis now? <laughs> Everybody's just getting some coffee right now. Hell yeah, fuck yeah. We're all coffeeed up. We're all ready to go. Hey, oh, let's go. <laughs> uh, is there anything else in here that we might want to take a look at? I don't think so. Oh, 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 there's a door. There's a door. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Do we have any toilet gas? Yep, there's some toilet gas right there. Toilet gas straight from the ass. Oh yeah. Let's get on out. I don't think we need anything else from around here. And there's all kinds of zombies swarming. No need to stick around for the swarm. Did we come in this house? We did, huh? That's why there's, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the hatchet man. See, I thought... I thought our car was down here, to be quite honest. So our car, yeah, that was our car, Doug, because I got the freaking, I got the flashlights from him. What the, what the hell am I smoking? Some good shit, obviously. Oh, there's a big ol' horde right there. 
Let's get on out. Get on out. We don't need to spend another second here. Floor it. Oh, what's up? <laughs> Azrael says, speaking of things that you inhale. <laughs> inhale. Time to smoke. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's, uh, let's hit out of the venom pipe. Oh, you know what? Venom is actually... I think Venom is cached, so, uh... I'll actually... I'll load up... I'll load up the Mr. Twister here. And, you know what? We'll load it up with something different. We'll load it up with some Grape Ape that I got here. Some Grape Ape. Good shit. As long as it doesn't see my face, it'll... It'll, uh... Focus in on whatever I have. <laughs> I really love that option on the on the Nightbot. That is so awesome. And like I really I'm really glad that you uh you guys use it too. <laughs> Hi baby. Looks like baby wants a little bit of attention. Hi baby. Hi my love. Hi. Hi. Hi buddy. Hi. 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 Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Hi. You're so soft. You're so soft. I wish you guys could see his tail. He has like a little Charmander flame on the end of it. It's like a little poof. Let's see if I could get it up there. <laughs> He's got like a little poof to it. It's funny. Okay. No more. It's time to get stoned. Baby, do you want to get stony with us? <laughs> His ears lift, lift up like what? <laughs> no, I would not do that. I mean, I've I've accidentally gotten like pets stoned before, and uh, you know, some of them seem to like it, some of them seem to not mind it. I remember back in the day, uh, me and my friends went camping up in the woods and we brought my friend's dog boo her name was boo she was like a little pit bull mixed with something else and uh, so when we got there we, we set everything up you know got everything ready and done with you know got our fire going or no no before we got the fire going we thought hey we should we should go into the car and hot box it you know hey, for those who don't know hot boxing is uh where you keep the windows and everything rolled up you keep the ac off and you uh you, you get the car completely filled up with smoke and so yeah we decided to do that and uh, we actually kept the dog inside there with us <laughs> like keep in mind though this dog is, has always been there getting stoned with us you know she always like tries to get us to blow smoke in her face and stuff like she'll get right up on you if you don't tell her no and like try to get some of that good weed smoke so you know we, we figured she liked it you know but uh yeah, we get into this car, get it completely fucking hot boxed with like two or three blunts going around between us, you know. Fucking this this car is smoked out, you know. You can't see outside, you can barely see inside, you know. Fucking it's it's just a gray mess inside. And uh, when you open the door, all this smoke is coming out. Or no no, before we open the door, the dog started like having a cough. The coughing fit, you know, he's like coughing and sneezing and coughing and sneezing and shit like that, you know. And when you're in a hot box like that, you can't start coughing or else you won't stop. Whether you're a human or a dog, because, you know, that, that smoke is still coming right back in. Whether you're coughing or inhaling, you know, it's still coming in. So we had to open the doors. All that smoke was coming out. The dog didn't stop coughing for a while. My friends started getting worried. We started getting worried. We gave it water and, like, let her sit down. She started... She was fucking stoned. She started freaking out, barking at nothing. It was it was a crazy experience. I've never seen anything like that. But um, ever since then, I don't like I don't really like uh, intentionally like to get my my pet stoned just because I don't know if they actually like it or not. Maybe they're coming up to my face to stop me from smoking or something. Who, who knows? You know who knows? But in any case, cheers, guys.
Oh yeah, that missed a twist of some good shit. And then along with this grape ape, guys, ooh, let me see if I could get a good a good specimen here. Yes, this grape ape has some really good purple in it. Like you could really see the purple in it. I don't know if you could really see it on camera, but in, to my eyes, it's dark, you know? It's really purple in there. Some good stuff. You know what? I'm going to take one more hit real quick. Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah. So, after that mission, we definitely did pretty good there. Got three food, one gas, 74 bullets pistol bullets uh some not some rifle nine uh seven shotgun okay we didn't do as good as i thought but we got quite a bit of pistol ammo so that's not bad right <laughs> Israel says good shit nice yeah yeah that weed is some good stuff dude for for, for real stony treats some wounds we had some first aid so that's not bad the way ahead has a big tree lying across it it looks like someone cut it down to block the road it would take uh, a group of strong people to move it safely. The group decides to. Um, we, could, we could lift the tree. We're strong, burly men. Let's do this. Uh, the group fails to move the tree at all, but manage to injure themselves. Fuck, pretty bad. They decide to try to ram the tree through the car. The car gets through, but takes some damage. Stoney's morale decreases. Anubis is killed. No way. Anubis got killed by us fucking moving that tree. That's fucked up. I'm sorry, Anubis. May you rest in peace. Daddy Gamer's morale decreases. Travis morale decreases. Man, that was a bad choice. I apologize. Holy shit. That was a pretty big turn in our story here. <laughs> that really fucked some shit up. The group finds an empty spot along the road that looks as good as com as good for camping as any. For camping, for as good as camping for as any. Uh, the weather is clear and there's no sign of danger in any di direction. Travis can't fool me. <laughs> Decides the spot looks the spot looks too safe and the group ends up peeling out of there fast without eating or sleeping. Travis feels smug and knowing he avoided that threat. My morale decreases. Daddy Gamer's morale decreases, but Travis's morale increases. Man. <laughs> Travis Witz revealed, hey, no, he, he it looks like he actually got us out of a sticky situation. His attitude isn't very good, though. <laughs> Everyone's tired. We need to watch out for possible am bandit a ambushes. It's so quiet here. There's no sign of life or unlife. It seems like everyone took what they can could and evacuated this town immediately. Uh, oh shit, no, I didn't mean to hit that. No, the group comes to town for supplies left behind, but gets ambushed by a single zombie. Travis, always paranoid, is not surprised by the zombie and easily avoids it. Nice, we got pistol, food, and some medical. Yes, that was actually that was actually a good choice. Sweet. Healed by Stony. Sweet. We got treated. Some of our wounds is treated. Sweet. Uh, the car has broken down from use and abuse. It won't start up again. Fuck me. Uh, Daddy Gamer attempts to fix it. Daddy Gamer pops the hood of the car, easily repairs the, the car in no time. Fuck yes, Daddy Gamer, some good shit. The group continues making progress along the death road. As long as one person remains alive, the dream of Canada lives on. You have 34 food left. Unexpectedly, the group finds someone they can trade with. Let's do it. Why not? We, we have quite a bit of food. There's only three of us. We don't have a full party. We might as well see what we could do here. Interested looking woman offers to sell you a spare weapon. I only carry the best stuff. She starts her chainsaw and revs it a few times to emphasize this. You have 34 food left. Chainsaw for 20. Jesus. Parking meter. Who needs a parking meter? 18 Molotovs for 15. Eh, it's not worth it to me. We've got some good shit as well. Where are you? Where are you? This might have been a bad choice to come here. I'm probably not even going to trade with any of these people. A filthy van. It has signs that says "Easy Medical College" hanging crookedly on the back door. Inside is an unsettling and filthy dude in overalls. Well, who wants to learn about surgery? You have 34 food left. What? Uh, give six for food for training. Give 12 food for group training. Daddy Gamer uses charm. Gets free. Oh, nice. Daddy Gamer gets free medical training. 
his medical increases. Aw, oh, I thought that would be for everybody. Damn it, Daddy Gamer, you selfish son of a bitch. <laughs> At least somebody got it. I wanted Stony to get it too because he has good medical already and it would already have been like the to the best of its ability, I think. The group sees a gruff man near an ice cream truck. The words ice cream have been crossed off its sign with shotgun shells written in. He offers to sell five shotgun shells for every food item you give. Trade 15, so wait, 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 wait. What did he say? Five something food something. Let's trade five. For 25 shotgun shells. Oh, fuck yeah, I'll do that. Hell yeah, I'll do that any day. That sounds like a real good deal. Fuck me. That was nice. That was actually a really good trade right there. I like that. Who has the shotgun? I know somebody does. There we go. Daddy Gamer has the shotgun. I'm gonna have to switch it to, to Travis because Travis is the one that has the bullets. Bullet bullets! Right? Right? Or does Stoney have the bullets? No. Who has the bullets? Are they... are they in the car? What the fuck? Oh, there we go. There we go. For some reason, Daddy Gamer has all of the ammo. <laughs> what is this? A pistol? Let's give that pistol to Stony. We'll take out that... Oops. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. Okay, we're gonna take away the piece of wood. We don't need a piece of wood. Who needs a piece of wood? Um, a fire axe instead of the hatchet. That sounds pretty good. And then, wait, wait, wait. Daddy Gamer has both a shotgun and the snub nose. Why not? Why not? We'll give Travis the pipe bombs. There we go. I feel good about that. I feel real good about that. Oh yeah, let's get on out. Hey, we got Dolly in the chat. What's up, Dolly? Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate that. <laughs> Andreas says, "Daddy gamer." Uh, oh, cause he has. Yeah, he had the he had the the bullets. <laughs> but yeah, what's up, Dolly? Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate that. We're playing some Death Road to Canada right now. Uh, probably switch over to some uh, Jackbox games here in a little bit. Uh, if we get some more people jumping on in here soon or something. Because uh, I, I don't really want to do some Jackbox games with just uh, just a couple people, you know. It, it wouldn't be as fun for all of us, you know. I don't I don't think it would be as fun. So, I don't know. We might, we might just do uh, Death Road to Canada today and then Jackbox games later on or something. Maybe tonight if we have a have more people uh, jumping in or something, you know. But yeah, as for now, maybe not so much. What the hell? It says that they don't have the ammo again. Okay, there we go. What's up with that? That is always so weird, weird to me. Like it seems like those bullets or those guns don't ever get a. Uh, they don't. Their ammo always gets lost somehow. <laughs> Just a heads up, Dolly. I also, uh, I also set up the night bot as well. There's uh, several commands, several custom commands that I have set up as well, and uh, yeah, some some good stuff. Definitely some fun, interesting things. I think I enjoy it. Damn, baby, what's up? I'm freaking my dog really, really wants some attention right now. Hold on, buddy. Let me take a tope real quick. Dolly says cool and Azrael puts the inhale see yeah the it, when you put the the uh, exclamation point and inhale or inhale and then whatever you know have some of those custom ones uh, Dolly says have you looked at my Twitter lately um I don't think I have been in there since the last time I had seen you uh, but, um, you know, whenever I have time, I definitely do love popping in. I, I love watching your streams. You're definitely good at it as well. And I, I actually did download, uh, uh, what is it, uh, Dead by Daylight. I downloaded Dead by Daylight when it was, 
when it was free so whenever you want to you know play that you know we could we could definitely do do something like that you know i could definitely jump in now <laughs> all right so we got to survive this yalmar interaction dolly says uh you do know my giveaway i'm doing i don't actually i don't know the giveaway what what are, what are you doing dolly damn i i the last time i watched your stream only had to have been like a week ago right Man, what did I miss? <laughs> I, I apologize, Dolly. I definitely haven't really had enough time to really uh, focus on everything lately. I really do apologize. Baby really wants attention. He's he's all in my arms, just just happy. This is the happiest he ever is. Whenever he's in my arms, this is the happiest I ever am too. Oh, you're such a good dog, baby. Uh oh, Dolly, I apologize. My night bot. Uh... There we go. Sorry about that, Dolly. I'll see if I could uh, undo that. Did it? Did it on? Uh, uh oh. I'm sorry, night bot. Uh, stops the links the link posting stuff uh, let's see and it timed dolly out let's see if I could uh... how do you how do you stop that how do you stop the timeout can I can I make it so it doesn't do that <laughs> I'm sorry dolly but I, I do I did get I did get the I did get the the link here the gleam link um, I did uh, un un delete them Um, Azriel, if you know how to on time, if you know how to make it so that she's not timed out anymore, that would be a big help because I, I really don't know how to do any of this stuff. I apologize, Dolly. That's the night bot doing it, not not me. <laughs> My night bot has too much power. All right, all right, let's continue this. Thank you, thank you, Azriel. I appreciate that. You night bot, why why do you keep doing these things? Man, there is a lot of zombies in here. Let's throw some pipe bombs out. Oh yeah, that was a good amount. That was a good amount. Oh yeah, get back, Stony. Use that, use that fucking, uh, that shotgun. Oh, God. The siege is over. Noise, noise, noise. Azrael says, um, I can't mess with Nightbot. I have no user authority. This is something with OBS. Um, okay, okay, one second. I'll, I'll see what I could do about this really quick. Just so that we could get that to stop, uh, timing, uh, Dolly out. Let's see here. Uh, disable that links disable okay there we go that should uh that should uh that should fix everything I believe sorry about that dolly yeah yeah okay that should that should fix some things let's see if I could uh unbent or untime you out or whatever okay <laughs> I think that I think that might have worked I don't know I'm sorry dolly if it didn't but uh I, I'm pretty sure I changed the night bot that should uh that should stop it that should stop it from doing uh that stuff with the links sorry about that Okay, the siege is over. Let's let's try to escape. Baby, what is wrong, dude? Why why are you so needy today? Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Hold on. Come on. Hmm. 
the baby just does not want to sit still on his own he's just he's very very needy right now <laughs> man I thought we had more pipe bombs than that we should probably get the F out of here man that is a lot of zombies holy crap I didn't I didn't even realize how many there was there do you want to walk back to the road on the road again Azrael says he just whispered me. I apologize for the situation. Thank you, Azrael. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's definitely weird. I, I don't understand how Twitter works sometimes. And uh, definitely sucks that, <laughs> that that happened. That definitely is uh, very odd. Oh, yeah. Dolly Dolly whispered it whispered as to me as well. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I, I really need to look at... Uh, I really need to look at Twitch a lot more and figure out how it works and get everything in order, you know, just to make sure make sure I, I understand what I'm doing when I do it, you know. Do you want to walk back to the road? Yeah, let's hit the road. We don't have a car anymore. <laughs> we got some more pistol ammo, though, 96. Damn, hell yeah, some good shotgun ammo, so a little bit of food, and that is not bad. This car is a ticking time bomb. Uh oh. The... <laughs> Dolly says, Why ban me? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Dolly. I apologize. It was the night bot. I, I blamed the night bot. And then the, the choice that I picked, that was that was baby's fault. He licked my finger and it made me choose that choice. <laughs> but but Dolly, I, I apologize about the ban. The night bot had it, it, it had a certain uh it hates it hates links and bad words and these certain things, but I I disabled that that setting so uh, you could definitely put a link. I definitely know that you're uh, tr trustworthy with your links and stuff, so I I could definitely take that off for for yours. And Dolly says yes, baby. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah! There we go. A gleam con oh you're giving a console okay a console giveaway that's pretty awesome that's fucking dope dolly let's see here i want to read this really quick just to put that information out for everybody all right if you win the draw you get a choice uh, out of these three consoles a nintendo switch an xbox one and a ps4 that is fucking crazy that is amazing dolly that's so dope there's 32 days left guys 520 total entries uh, four ways to enter follow Dolly is the first one you know Dolly Dolly Pero 88 on twitch.tv um, you know really easy stuff gleam is a very easy uh, very easy to use uh, interface you know anybody can can uh, enter the contest and be a part of it you know so yeah some good stuff Definitely some good stuff, Dolly. Dolly says, "Make sure you join." I will. I definitely will, Dolly. As soon as as soon as we're done with the stream today, I have it. I have it up on my sh on my uh, on my tabs. So I'll definitely be doing that as soon as we're done with this. Man, that is amazing, Dolly. You you are one one amazing person. You help so much. Damn it, baby! You're making me choose all these choices on accident. Daddy Gamer decides to climb a tree to get a better vantage point of the surrounding area. His plan works out fine. He spots something in the distance and gets to see a majestic view. Daddy Gamer's fitness is revealed. Not too good. <laughs> While walking alongside a large stream, Travis notices some fish in the water. Travis tries their luck, goes into the water, and tries to catch some fish by hand. By some miracle, Travis is able to catch a decent-sized catfish. Oh, man, that's fucking dope. That'd be awesome. I wish I could do that. Gets plus six food. Dude, that's, that's fucking sick. Burning rubber. While walking along the road, Stoney spots a gas station in the distance. Not a lot is there other than a cool-looking muscle car next to the gas pump. It has the keys sitting on the dash. Muscle cars like this have slightly worse gas mileage and, than average and break down fast. They're easy to repair and very fast. Uh, take it off a sweet jump. Okay, let's start that shit up. Fucking A, why not? Who wouldn't? <laughs> Hopefully we run into Dolly in this adventure, adventure here. That'd be so awesome. Just to cap it off. 
The campground that the group sets up smells terrible. The source of the smell is a complete mis mystery. Uh, let's endure the smell, I guess. Enters the smell zone all night until passing out. They are not happy in the morning, but they were at least able to sleep. That's, that's better, you know. You, at least being able to sleep, you know. You could at least fight better, think better. Fucking probably aim better. But, you know. Shit happens. We don't have any more medical, though. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Guys, I think this is actually the furthest I've ever got on the death road as well. Shopping mall, quiet farm, junkyard with car. Fuck me. The shopping mall would obviously be the best place to go. But that's very hard to freaking, uh... To think. To, to do. It's, it's red. And like I said, this is the furthest I've ever got. Why, why stop now? <laughs> hey, we got Panda Remy in the chat. What's up, Panda? Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate that. Says, what up, boy? <laughs> What's up? Thank you so much. Uh, we're doing some Death Road to Canada today. Man, I'm going to have to put you into our uh, into our list of people to run into as well when, whenever we die here. And yeah, that way, that way we could... Uh, run into you somehow whenever we're doing our death road streams we've ran into quite a few people so far let's see let's let's go to the quiet farm i really don't want to i don't want to die here <laughs> the group finds a farm it looks like it was abandoned in, in a hurry long ago there should be some field tools left behind zombie forecast is moderate swarm size aggression is calm what time? Late morning. Okay, we don't need we don't need no fleshlights today. My dog is uh, he he's very I don't know. He wants attention right now, so he's just chilling with me right now. He's just hanging out, huh, baby? You're just hanging out. You want to say hi to everybody? He's such a good dog. He's so smart. He's the smartest dog I've ever had. I've had a few dogs growing up. And he is definitely the fucking smartest. I could tell you that much for sure. Panda Remy says, Haha, awesome and so cute. Yeah, we re I recently got him a haircut. Ah, Before his hair was all long and messed up, he wouldn't allow me to cut it, so it got matted. His uh, nails were really long and would scratch the shit out of you if you had like shorts on or something. But uh, the lady that I uh, sent him to to get his uh, his uh, grooming, she did a really good job. It's a uh, puppy spa or puppy paws angel spa. Yeah, puppy paws angel spa uh, in Aurora, Colorado. Or no, not Aurora, Arvada, Colorado. Very good stuff. She works out of her home. Definitely did an excellent job I'm gonna be continuing my my uh, dog's grooming service with her uh, from now on basically <laughs> panda says he looks so soft oh yeah he's he feels like the the freaking uh, cuddles the the freaking Charmin bear or whatever the freaking laundry bear <laughs> Azrael says, yeah, baby's the channel's mascot. <laughs> and Panda says, what a cute name. I love that. Yeah, he's he's originally my sister's dog. But, uh, okay, so me and my sister used to live together in, in an apartment. Well, in the same apartment complex I live in right now. But uh, she ended up moving into a house with her friends. But the house, uh, the, the owner doesn't allow pets. Or whoever they're renting it from doesn't allow pets. So... I had to keep I had to keep baby with me which I don't really mind because he's my little buddy he's been basically with me the entire time that we've lived together you know he's always been my right hand man I basically like I, I didn't even have to train him either my sister like doesn't really know how to train dogs or anything she didn't really spend too much time around him but like I didn't have to train him or anything he already like kind of knew how to sit he kind of he knows how to like shake, he knows how to stay, uh, now he knows how to like be comfortable with grooming and stuff a ever since I took him to that lady and ah, uh, he's, he's such a good dog, such a good dog. And whenever I take him on walks and like we walk by other dogs, like if the dog starts, like if the other dog starts barking at baby, 
he'll just he'll just stare at that dog like what the fuck's wrong with you you know he doesn't bark back he doesn't like try to run at them or anything he just continues walking with me like going with the flow just like what the fuck like what's up with you dude <laughs> like are you okay <laughs> and that's basically like the look he has on his face whenever that happens it's so funny and then like around other dogs he's always so nice and just playful you know never like starts a fight never starts like barking at them all crazy he's he's very good and even when like people knock on my door he'll he'll bark initially to like alert me that somebody's at the door but after he knows i'm walking up and notice that i've seen that the door somebody's at the door he'll stop barking completely and he'll wait to see who it is if it's my sister he goes absolutely nuts he goes ballistic she's the only one none of those rules apply with for you know like if he if my sister is out in the parking lot and i take him out there on a leash he will pull on that leash all fucking night to get to my sister like it's it's so cute because he just he wants to he wants to get her to pet him so bad uh oh uh oh we're getting surrounded here this isn't no bueno this isn't bueno i mean use use that pistol use that revolver oh yeah daddy gamer you got this buddy i believe in you i was gonna use the shotgun at first but you know this this works too oh 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 whoa 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 whoa, whoa. there's still too many in there let's use the shotgun it's time to clear the room oh yeah that that definitely cleared the room <laughs> bales of hay i don't really need these hay bales damn hay bales now that baby's gotten his haircut as well, he's definitely a lot colder too. I think that's why he wants to sit on my lap because he's cold. He's like shivering right now. I guess he didn't realize how cold it actually is without his fur. <laughs> but he's okay. Like last night he started uh, laying under the covers with me. Like he, he got up to my face where I was uncovered and he started to like try to poke his nose under to get under there. So I, I like, I let him there, and then he just laid right next to me to get get warmth, and uh, just laid there all night. It was it was cute. Then and when I woke up in the morning, he was still just chilling. <laughs> Azrael says, "Sounds like my pupper is nice. Hell yeah, that's awesome." Panda says, my baby is 14 years old and she follows me everywhere and will bark at me if I'm outside and she wants me to lay with her. <laughs> Aw, that's awesome. That's so cute. Yeah, whenever I walk into the door, baby's always like whining and wants me to pet him and like is always waiting for me, you know. He's definitely a good dog. He's only like two, probably about to be three, I think. I think he's like two, two something, two in like nine months. Something like that. <laughs> Dolly and Panda seem to know each other and, and like and are are enjoying that they know me. That's awesome. Hell yeah! I'm glad we could all bring each other together. That's that's amazing. That's like the best. <laughs> Let's see. We found some gas. Swapped to a tiny car. Swapped to a big van. A muscle car keep car and drive away our car seems to be just fine I don't know um, shit maybe the muscle car let's get the muscle car why not baby you're messing up the, the boom mic what are you doing you're hanging yourself on it what are you doing don't do it baby you have so much to live for <laughs> Poor thing. you're okay <laughs> Panda says, oh yeah, Dolly is my sexy bitch. <laughs> Dolly says, I'm not sexy, just a bitch. Oh, hell no, Dolly. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say you're a bitch. And hey, you, like, you, the way you look at yourself can always emanate out towards others. So looking at yourself in a more positive way is definitely makes it so that others see you more positively as well, you know? So, I mean, I don't really think I am very attractive either, but whenever I look in the mirror, I try to say, like, oh, yeah, you, you're killing it today, buddy. <laughs> I don't know. There's <laughs> some bullshit like that. Uh, Daddy Gamer, I'd rather not fight if we don't have to. Daddy Gamer tries to help out, but ha lacks the medical supplies. 
Panda says, I know for sure. I'm a bitch and I love it. <laughs> That's funny. I know a lot of females like um, one of my one of my friend's sisters uh, she always calls herself a bitch as well like she's like uh, she uh, she's like yeah I'm a bitch I know it and I I fucking yeah she takes pride in it as well fucking loves to see how far she could take her bitchiness <laughs> and she's taking it pretty far until I'll tell you that much the group is driving down a long stretch of road. No tr no threats on the horizon, but not much else of interest either. You have 38 food left. Unexpectedly, the group finds someone they could trade with. Uh, why not? Let's tr let's visit them. <laughs> Dolly says, Oh, geez, Stoney, I peed my pants laughing. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I'm glad I could bring some entertainment. <laughs> It says, you should, Dolly also says, you are the best. Thank you, Dolly. I appreciate that. And Panda says, just means I won't let anyone fuck with me. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's definitely good. That's definitely a good trait to have, for sure. My sister is very much like that as well. Uh, like, throughout the years, I, you know, I'm, I'm an older brother, so I've bullied her quite a bit. And, you know, a lot of my cousins have always bullied her quite a bit as well. But now that she's older, she, she doesn't take shit from anybody. She's always very self self-sufficient you know doesn't take handouts you know she's she's a very very you know i believe she's uh safe and can take care of herself you know like definitely oh sorry the group finds a man claiming to be traveling medicine salesman he's carrying a suitcase Ooh, we definitely do medical uh we definitely do need medical i mean uh let's trade 10 food the group of 10 medical supplies. Oh, damn, I didn't know it was one for one. Okay, that's fucking dope. Hell yeah. I, I would have just did five if I would have known it was one for one. But it's okay. That's cool. That's that's actually really great. That's really nice. Panda says, right, it's pretty great. Oh, yeah, I love being able to know that my sister is going to be okay. Not have to worry too much about her. I mean, I'm still her big brother. I still worry about her either way, but I don't have to worry so much. <laughs> This man is selling anime and the anime accessories from a converted food truck. I am doing my part to keep civilization together. One anime sale at a time. You have 28 food. One wind star, four katanas for five food. Anime figurine. Let's get four katanas. Fuck yes. <laughs> Hell yeah, enough for a whole group. Sweet. Alright. Yeah, that's nice. That's, that's very, very nice. Panda says, uh, I let way too many people walk over me in high school and now I just won't take shit. I'll just be like... Okay, fight me. Fight me, how? <laughs> right, yep, yep. That's definitely a lot like how my sister is too. And uh, my, my friend's sister and a lot of a lot of the females I know. Like it doesn't mean it doesn't mean you're a bad person or a total bitch or someone you don't want to hang out with. It just means that don't just don't fuck with you, you know. Don't 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 bring nothing, there won't be nothing, you know. <laughs> I definitely can understand that shit. I'm always like go with the flow, but the moment somebody tries to mess with me, things might pop off, you know? <laughs> oh, hey, looky here. There's a cowboy rifle. Who could use a cowboy rifle? I think. I think. Stoney could use a cowboy rifle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What did I put down? The kitchen knife? Oh, well, I put down the hammer. Okay, that's fine. And it, is, it is now not hammer time anymore. It is no longer hammer time. Sweet. We got us some good shit here. And we didn't have to fucking spend too much. Panda says, yep, my defense mechanism. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. I mean, certain times it could get you in trouble. But certain times, you know, it's definitely necessary. My sister told me about uh, one time when she went to a concert with one of her friends. Uh... So uh, my sister was walking out and saw this guy had a Tech 9 shirt, told him, hey, I like your shirt. And then the dude uh, just turns around and tells her, yeah, well, it looks like uh, yours is too, too small for you, you know, basically calling her fat. And then uh, my sister's friend says, is that a fat joke? She's like, and uh, the dude says, yeah, it was. What are you going to do about it? So my sister's friend just fucking socks him in the face, gets him to the ground, fucking hitting him, you know beating his ass my sister has it all recorded on her phone and like the whole time everyone's like "Ooh, you're getting your ass beat by a girl Ooh, dude you, you fucked up you know 
Like, yeah, you fucking sometimes you just don't, you shouldn't fuck with people. <laughs> there's, the, there's people out there that'll just fuck with you back. The group finds a cabin in the woods with no zombies in sight. It has a wood stove in it, but no wood. Uh, uh, fuck it, let's chop some wood. <laughs> Dolly says my defense mechanism is farting. <laughs> oh, oh, hell no, that's funny. <laughs> Panda says, you fuck with me and it won't end well. One guy was sexually harassing me and he was blocked by everyone. Oh, pff, well, yeah, definitely. I, I could agree with that too because, yeah, that's, that's no, that's no, that's no bueno. That's not cool. Like, people, like, guys that are always like, no mean just, like, I'm like, dude, you're, you're just a skeezy perv, like, I, I'd rather not associate with people like that, you know, fuck that. <laughs> Azrael says, if I get into a fight, I drop my pants. Nobody wants to fight a guy who's getting naked. <laughs> yeah, right, that's funny. Uh, Panda says, exactly, just be like, all right, I fight with my dick out. <laughs> uh, that's funny, that's hilarious. Uh, who should go chop the wood? It's really hard work. Who should chop the wood? Let's say Travis. Travis is a hard worker. Chop, chops a bunch of wood and gets the wood stove going before passing out from exhaustion. He will be very tired tomorrow. Travis' strength increases. Fire feels great. Nice. Seems like that was a good idea. Everybody's full health as well. That's fucking awesome. Next time we stop, I should show you how to make a, sh a share trap or something like that. I don't know what I said. Seen there. <laughs> Dolly says, I want to fight with a naked man. <laughs> oh, hell no, that's funny. <laughs> the group meets a man trying to repair his broken car. He clearly has no idea what he's doing. Uh, Daddy Gamer fixed the last one, I'm pretty sure, right? Uh, let's help him fix his car. I don't think we know who this is, so we're not going to recruit him. Daddy Gamer tries to fix the man's broken car. He tries to help over the course of a day, but isn't successful. Successful. Still, it's good practice. Damn, that's no bueno. He fixed ours last time, like, really easily. <laughs> the group drives into the outskirts of a city. Zombie... The group drives into the outskirts of a city. Zombies mill around, but they haven't seemed to notice the car yet. The forecast is moderate. Swarm size aggression is sluggish. It's that sluggish, sluggish bone. All right, late afternoon. We don't need any uh, flashlights. Lost safe house arcade. I'd say lost safe house is gonna have some good stuff in it. <laughs> Dolly says, "Okay, I'm done being pervy. Sits in corner." <laughs> oh hell no, that's funny. <laughs> Azrael says, "Oh hell no, Dolly, get back over here. <laughs> get over here." <laughs> Oh yeah, we all got katanas. Sweet. Fuck yeah. Everybody gets a katana. You get a katana. You get a katana. You get a katana. Everybody's getting a katana. Who who wouldn't want a katana? Why does my pistol not have any ammunition? Daddy Gamer, do you have all the ammunition? You do, you son of a bitch. Alright, here we go. Put 41. And then the revolver. Alright, whatever. We don't need a revolver. He has a shotgun. As long as everybody has a gun. And a katana. As long as everybody has a gun and a katana, I'm alright. I'm happy. We don't need any flashlights though. We already we already uh we already uh figured that out as much. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Sickle, katana, shotgun, oh yeah, daddy gamer set up. Stony is set up. Travis is set the fuck up. Oh yeah, we doing this. We doing this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on, buddy. Let's go take this picture. Kinda puts the, the 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 toke. The the smoking the smoking stuff yeah yeah I could definitely I could definitely take a hit panda no worries I forget what it is it's uh it's uh exclamation mark uh what is it what is it Osriel I'm pretty sure Osriel knows <laughs> oh hey hey yeah nice thunder chunky thunder chunky 1989 has followed us as well so yeah we could we could definitely take a double toke here too nice some good stuff. Let's see, 
what is it? What is it? Let me see. Let me see. I know it's here somewhere. It's inhale. It's uh the freaking uh exclamation po exclamation point inhale. That's that's the one that makes it so that uh to take a hit. <laughs> I forget my own commands as well. <laughs> I think we've officially cashed the the Mr. Twista bowl as well. We cashed out Venom. We cashed out Mr. Twista. We're gonna have to load a fresh bowl on this next one. I do have a little bit in the. Oh, you know what? Yeah, you know what? For Thunder Chunky, we'll we'll hit the Gandalf real quick, cause cause uh, the the Mr. Twista was a little it was a little uh, cashed already by the time I hit it. Panda, Panda says Mario though. Okay, you know what? We could definitely get Mario in here. I don't have Mario here with me, but I could go grab it. One second. Oh yeah, that Gandalf. One second. Mario in my backpack because uh, I had taken it with me to uh, to my parents' house up in the mountains. It still blows my mind that weed isn't illegal here. It blows my mind that I could just throw my pipe in my fucking backpack and, you know, have it with me wherever I go, basically. There's a place here in... Oh, watch, watch. Let me get it. I'm not uh, affiliated with these people in any way. Like, this is not an advertise. Well, it, it's an advertisement because I, I think it's really cool. But they didn't pay me for this or anything. I just saw this at one of the weed stores that I went to and I thought it was really cool. But there's a place here in Denver where you could go and smoke weed. Smoke weed here. And they supply... You could, you bring your own stuff and your own pipes, but they, they also supply some pipes and some smoking accessories and stuff like that. You could go and hit these big old hookahs, these big old bongs, you know, stuff that you might not be able to afford or you don't want to keep in your house because you don't want people to know you smoke or something. It's a really cool place, man. It's like a membership area where you could go and, and meet new people, meet new fucking uh, potheads like, that are like you, you know, you know, people alike. It's fucking awesome. I want to go check it out. I really do. I want to go... Uh, go see how it is. Panda says, did the law recently change for you? No, I, I live in Colorado. Uh, in Colorado, it's been legal now for about uh, like four or five years now. About four or five. Like, I know as soon as I turned 21, I was able to go to the dispensaries. And that's when they first like allowed recreational, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Sorry guys, I'm just breaking up a little bit more weed for the pipes. I have myself this badass grinder that I really like. says they just put two dispensaries where I used to live like an hour away nice that's fucking dope in Colorado there's more dispensaries than there are uh, uh, Starbucks now <laughs> it's fucking crazy <laughs> uh, Panda says of course I'm in California so I'm good and I have my card nice I'm uh, says I'm 20 but uh, you can be 18 here right same same with Colorado uh, if you have a doctor's uh, well, yeah, if you have your medical card from the doctor and stuff, you can you can have it as young as 18. But uh, for recreational, you have to be 21 or older. Oh, 
Oh damn, I grinded up a little bit too much. Look at that. That grinder is completely full to the fucking top. You could see that purple in there. Oh, if it focused up, that would be so fucking nice. Come on. Come on, focus for me. Focus for me. Focus for me. I don't think it's gonna focus, but it looks really nice. Take my word for it. <laughs> oh yeah, the disclaimer for Azrael Isra put, Disclaimer, for those who don't know, Stony Streams of Colorado in the US where cannabis is legal. Please be of age in a legal area if you want to partake. Signed, The Mods. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's awesome. It's awesome, Azrael. I like that. I like that. Man, I don't know how to pack this, honestly. I, I put too much weed in here. Come on, come on. Here we go, here we go. Just don't, don't blow your entire load. That's all that matters. There we go. That's good. That's good right there. That's good right there. Perfect. Alright, so, here's the Mario pipe if you haven't seen it. I really love this pipe. I found it in one of the, the weed shops. Or, no, it wasn't a weed shop. It was just a pipe store one day. It says Super Mario Bros on it. Spilling a little bit of weed all over the place, but it's okay. I'm always doing shit like that. It's no bueno. Alright, we're gonna take a hit though. Oh yeah, that's some nice stuff. I'm just gonna load up the rest of them real quick. It's funny, earlier I'm complaining that uh, my freaking keyboard is getting stuck because there's weed falling under it and making it stick to the freaking bottom. And then I'm over here just spilling it all willy nilly like a dumbass. <laughs> good thing I didn't spill it on my keyboard. I spilled it on my Switch controller though, that might not be good. <laughs> Let's just get that cleaned off real quick. It was just very, barely sprinkled. There's a little bit on my monitor too, but it's okay. We, we're alright. We're alright. Alright, let's continue. Let's continue. I apologize, guys. Make sure I remember to put the gameplay back on. I have a, I have a filthy habit of not putting the gameplay back on whenever I do this. Always forget somehow. <laughs> uh, Panda says, ooh, oh my god, I love my grinder. Or I gave my grinder to my boyfriend, so... I have to use my fingers, but I have nails, so it makes it easier, <laughs> right? Yeah, when you have nails, it definitely does make it easier, but man, sometimes I hate having to grind my weed with my with my fingers. I, I, usually, uh, I usually use my grinder over anything when I can, but uh, over the years, I've definitely learned how to, how to grind it up with just my fingers and stuff, you know, you kind of have to as a stoner. <laughs> But um, I prefer the diamond grind grinders. Those are very good. Their blades are very sharp. They don't get dull right away. Um, like in, on the inside are actual like blades. You know, like it's sharp. If you if you run your finger across it, you could you could potentially cut yourself. It's not it's not just these plastic spikes that smash it uh, that smash it uh, together. You know, that smash it apart or whatever. It's just. Uh, it's, it's these blades that actually cut it and finely and they do it very fine and uh, as you saw you know what I showed you guys that's that's how it grinds it up and it's it's very nice you're, but you're, you're definitely gonna need uh, like a, a screen of some sort either glass or some sort of brass uh, metallic screen if you have a pipe with big like with, with a big hole or else you're just gonna you're just gonna suck all of your weed right through. Because the venom bong, it has a big hole on the bottom of it. I, I actually got a glass, a glass, uh, a glass uh, screen for it. So uh, 
now whenever I put weed in there, nothing escapes, you know, I'm able to smoke everything. Noise, we got some good stuff. I see, uh, Panda asked, uh, Stoney, how many pieces have you broken over the years? Ooh, that is, that is actually a very good question. Um, man, I would have to say somewhere up in the, like, 20s, maybe 30s, a pretty good amount. Like, there's uh, quite a few that I could remember. One, I remember because one of my friends actually made it. Like, uh, he figured out how to blow g glass and, uh... He made it specifically uh, for me and my homies. It was really dope too. It was fucking awesome. It was this badass piece. So okay, imagine the Mario piece because it, it's a, it's all black like that. Where did I put Mario? So it's all black like this with red swirls on the inside, and then it has like horns coming off of it, like demon horns, and like uh, like fireballs wrapping around it. And oh, dude, it was just such a fucking badass pipe it was so cool so fucking cool and one day me and my friend are just walking through uh the alleys of my hometown trying to go somewhere and as a car is driving by on the road uh my homie puts the pipe in his pocket uh and next thing you know as soon as he pulls it out it's in two pieces like what the fuck what what the fuck happened there neither of us know what really happened i mean i'm sure he knows what happened but he claims that he just put it in his pocket and that when he pulled it out it was in half I don't know how that is he must have been squeezing it or maybe the heat of the fucking pipe I don't know maybe because it was made by someone that was not exactly a professional I, I don't know what happened but it was a cool fucking pipe I loved that fucking pipe <laughs> another one that I remember having was this uh, this bubbler it was a it was a badass fucking bubbler. It had like a chili a chili pepper end on it that so like little stands that went forward and a chili pepper thing that like pointed backwards to help keep it standing up. And then like it, it was like a Sherlock Holmes that like kind of dipped in and you could put your water in it and stuff like that. It was had some really cool colors to it. And I remember being at one of my friends' house and somebody threw the lighter at me to like give me the lighter to hit the pipe. And fucking the lighter hit the little chili pepper part and like it cleanly came off like literally cleanly came off we were able to glue it back together for a good little while but you know things kept happening the glue kept coming apart you know that fucking pipe was a soldier for a while but eventually you know you just kind of had to just say goodbye <laughs> Thunder Chunky says, uh, cleaner vac than when you scoop up the remains and use them. Um, what do you mean? Like, oh, the vape, the vape. Okay, yeah, yeah, with the vape, you could definitely get the remains and stuff like that. That's definitely quite popular to do. And sometimes even more, it's, sometimes it's even stronger than, than what you've been smoking, you know, because it's a whole collection of whatever you have in there, you know. But yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a good idea. Especially with those, uh those uh vaping straws you know those you know I've, sh I've showed you guys that pipe before i don't know i don't know where i put it but you, you guys know what i'm talking about it has a metal tip you hit it with the with you you heal you you heat it up with a with a torch and then you dip it into the the concentrate and take your hit like that oh Azrael asked do you still have the inhaler i don't um it was good for up to a hundred hits or whatever and I, I probably could have bought refills or whatever but um, it's really expensive everything is like a hundred bucks like the refills are a hundred bucks so I could just buy a, a brand new a brand new inhaler and a brand new uh, cartridge for the same price and the cartridge was getting a little sticky too so it would be better to get a, a actual new cartridge so I, I do I, I do want to get another one though. That was really cool. I did like that. It was a really good, really good device to have. Panda says I'm not sure if there are vapes with CBD, but you could do tinctures for overall body healing or lotions for portions of your body. Right? Yep, definitely. There are definitely some CBD specific strains you could get. Uh, 
I think there is certain ones that have CBD only, but not every place has them because people like to get high, you know. But uh, yeah, they definitely do have lotions that don't get you high. They definitely have edibles that won't get you high. You just got to ask for CBD specifically. And uh, the CBD doesn't come up on uh, piss tests either, so it's definitely really good. Like my mom, she, she really likes the lotions and stuff like that that I've brought her because... Uh, she always gets gets muscle aches from work, working all day and stuff like that so it definitely does wonders i'll give her like a little massage with the with the lotions the cbd lotions and it'll take away all the all the pain and the stress from the from the work day before and stuff it's really nice really nice panda has panda says so like a crack pipe <laughs> the inhaler thing uh, or uh, like the the for the vaping i think you mean the vape straw uh i mean i guess i've never really seen anybody do crack but i have seen those roses at the gas stations that people sell and they uh they act like they're rose uh they're for the rose to like put water in or whatever but they're secretly cr crack pipes or something like that or people use them for meth or something too like i don't know people are weird but uh yeah, uh, you, you gotta heat it up with a with a torch. I, I have a torch somewhere. I don't know where I put all my stuff, but it's, it's somewhere around here. <laughs> but yeah, the first time I ever seen somebody do a, a vape hit off of a... Like, the first time I saw somebody use a torch to, to take a hit, I had no idea what the fuck they were doing. My sister went and sat down next to the person that was doing it, and I told her, hey, don't... Don't sit next to those guys. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. I don't know what that is. And, uh, turns out later on I find out that they're just doing some fucking, uh, dabs, you know? The fucking vaping. They're fucking using the, the torch to heat up the nail to put the concentrate on there to vaporize it and fucking get high instantly off of it, you know? That shit fucking, it, if, it'll fuck your world up if you're not prepared for it. Like, in a good way, though. Like, the the first time I did vape hits, it, it just put me to sleep, basically, you know. I found a good spot to lay down, you know. Just got comfortable and, oof, best fucking sleep of my life. <laughs> and there's been a good while where I just uh, smoke my vape pens. And, like, I'll, I'll take hits out of the vape pens before I go to sleep just, just to help me sleep and shit like that. It's really good. Really, really, really enjoy it. Like, uh, this pen right here. This has concentrate inside of it. The shatter stuff and the live resin. Definitely good stuff. <laughs> Azrael says, I was thinking of meth pipe. Yeah, I think I think those glass rose things might be meth pipes. I'm not too sure. Panda says, the glass tube dipping into the oil and then lighting it sounds like a crack, crack pipe. Right? Yeah, it kind of does. But watch, if I can find it. So it's this thing right here. You you light the end of it with a torch, get it all red hot and stuff, and then you would uh, you would dip it you would dip it into something like this. This is some uh, live resin. It's the concentrate, you know. This is like 90 90 percent THC. Well, like while the while most flour only goes up to like 30 percent, the flour I have right now, this grape ape only is 21 percent. So yeah, the, the concentrate is definitely very much more concentrated. <laughs> so it definitely is its name. Panda says, OMG, it looks like a screwdriver, right? Definitely, definitely. And oh, I love a man that loves his mommy. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I definitely do love my mom. She's she's one of the best people in my life. And Panda Panda also says, that's really cool. Yeah, I have I have a lot of pipes. I do have quite a bit. And I'm actually going to be getting another hemper box pretty soon here. It should be coming in the mail pretty soon. We're going to be getting another pipe out of that too.
Panda says, oh, gee, dude, the vape pens my boyfriend smokes are 98% THC. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They could definitely get up there. Some of them might have tinctures and stuff that do different things, like uh, like different strains will do different things for your body. There's an app called Leafly, or uh, the website is leafly.com, and it'll tell you everything about the weed you're smoking, like what it's good for, good for, like, depression, good for, like, sleep, good for whatever, you know, good for pain. Um, you could also search certain strains. You could look up stuff, you know, and then uh, there's weed maps that'll tell you where the where all the good uh, deals are in your area. So yeah, definitely uh, download those. Those are some good stuff. At the end of the day, the group hides in a drafty old house. Some zombies roam around outside, and the doors of the house are barely on their hinges. Should someone barricade the house? Uh, let's let's have let's have Stony do it. <laughs> Azrael says a sick and twisted person would suggest doing a hit of it. <laughs> oh hell no. Panda says yeah, I use Leafly and Weed Maps constantly. Nice, heck yeah, that's definitely some good stuff. And Panda also says BRB lovelies. Yep, yeah, no worries. We'll see you in a little bit. Stony barricades the flimsy house. He quickly reinforces problem spots. They now seem very secure. My mechanical reve is revealed. Nice. Okay. We lose some food. We eat some food, I mean. We eat a decent meal. Not bad. As long as we can eat a de decent meal and keep, keep traveling, we're all right. We're doing pretty good. We're getting really far so far. The group finds a street in a town that has traps all over it. Pits with blankets put over the top. Snares everywhere. Spikes on barrels. A door with an obvious guillotine over it. And these are just the visible ones. Send a scout to explore for loot. Oh man, that does not sound like a good idea. We should just drive away. All kinds of fucking traps and shit. Fuck that. <laughs> Whoa, it's Mushi. It's nice to see a familiar face. Uh, she is sitting in a park reading a book. Uh, she's nurturing and she's a surgeon. Let's recruit Mushi to the team. Might as well, right? <laughs> the group accepts Mushi to the team. Mushi joins the team. Onward to Canada. Oh yeah, we're gonna make it. We're definitely gonna make it. We gotta. We, we, this is like the furthest I've ever gotten. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Uh, swamp so rest stop, commercial row. Man, I really want to make it to fucking Canada at this point. Like seriously, we, we, we need to make it. This is the furthest we've got. We need to make it. The group drives near a city's commercial district. Uh, excuse me, a, a short distance away. Some shops are visible that seem, uh, excuse me, uh, worth checking out. Moderate, swarm size, aggression is calm. We are right, we do this. <laughs> Azrael says, seems legit for Mushi. <laughs> oh, Azrael's getting a commercial. That's weird. That's crazy. Freaking Twitch and their commercials. All right, let's explore these shops. Explore these shops. Let's see what Mushi has. Oh, a surgeon's scalpel. Scalpel. She definitely needs a katana. That's for sure. Um, probably a snub nose. Someone, someone has to have some ammo for that snub nose. What the fuck? And then back to Mushi. What? Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. 60. There we go. Now we're splitting. Now we're splitting up that ammunition. Stony, you fucking. You greedy son of a bitch. Taking all the, the pistol ammo for yourself. You and Travis. <laughs> That'd be all fucked up. Wait, why doesn't Travis have a katana? What happened to Travis's katana? And what happened? What happened to Daddy Gamer's katana? <laughs> that's funny. We have both Mushi and Daddy Gamer. That's, that's that's great. Wait, wait, wait. Now Mushi doesn't have a katana. What happened to Mushi's katana? I don't have a katana either. What? Ha we must. We must have broke our katanas. Well, I think I think uh, Travis has had a, 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 a katana at one point. So we'll we'll give Mushi the katana. Wow, damn. What time was it? I don't know. We're we're gonna give somebody a flashlight for sure, though. Just in case, I don't want to. I don't want to end up in another situation where it's freaking dark and we can't see nothing. All right, let's do this. We got this. Oh, Azrael was saying no. I was saying you should go to the commercial district. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Uh, I didn't realize. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No, 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 no. Put the rifle away. We don't need the rifle just yet, buddy. Leave that for a sticky situation. 
Uh, and you know what? We should also change to Mushi. Yes, yes. Why am I not Mushi? There we go. Now I'm Mushi. Oh yeah, Mushi with the katana. What the fuck? So there's nothing in here? That's that's kind of annoying. <laughs> that's kind of uh, disappointing. I only went to this place because it, it wasn't red like the other one. I, I, I don't want to die. <laughs> I, I really want to see what the end brings us. I want to see what Canada is like. Damn it. Easy clinic. We definitely do have a lot of heals, but more is definitely appreciated. Uh, the arcade is blocked. It seems like everything here is blocked. It seems like there's no point to even be here. It's bullshit. See, just umbrellas. Who the fuck needs an umbrella in a time like this? Just umbrellas my ass. Furniturarium. Okay. We probably should have went to the commercial district. <laughs> I mean, we do have all of these weapons. We are fucking up all these zombies. It seems to be... I, I think we probably could have done it. We probably could have took them. Dude, look at all these appliances. <laughs> you know what? I think my I think my freaking keyboard was getting stuck by my little wrist, wrist rest. My wrist rest. My wrist rest. Yes. <laughs> Because now it's not it's not sticking anymore. It's not doing that. It's not doing what it was doing. Damn it! There was no reason to go in there either. Here we go. A little bit of food. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Throw a shopping cart at a zombie tonight. <laughs> oh yeah! Double tap him. Throwing boot. Might as well get my katana back. Oh hell no! Freaking Daddy Gamer just took Mushi's katana. It's okay. It's okay. Mushi doesn't need a katana. Mushi has a fucking pistol. <laughs> Uh-oh. Mushi's gone crazy with the pistol. Mushi's taking it all her aggression out on these zombies. There we go. Every last one of them. Every last single one of them. Hey, here we go. See, I always forget that these little things on the shelves are also um, items we could pick up. Oh yeah, scalpel. Let's scalpel him to death. Oh, what's up? Scalpel. Nobody can fuck with Mushi and her scalpel. Oh yeah. Mushi and her scalpel and then Daddy Gamer and his katana. Oh yeah, what's up? Shopping cart, scalpel, double team move. Can't fuck with us. Y'all can't fuck with us. I already played it. Can't can't play it again. <laughs> I felt really badass when I was playing that song though, not gonna lie. Oh yeah, still hit him with the with the shopping cart. There's nothing here though, it seems. Uh oh, Mushi's getting tired, Mushi's getting tired. Let's switch on over to Travis. Travis got him a big ass axe. May I ask you a question, Mr. Zambi? Oh, never mind, I'll shave it for later. <laughs> Scalpel, flashlight, fire axe. Man, there wasn't too much in the gun stop. There was definitely no guns. Did we? Did we get any ammo from that? I think we might have. Seems like we did. Y'all can't fuck with us. Probably go back to the car now. Head on out. Get on to Canada. That's where the truth remains. That's where the truth lies. That's where our our story begins and ends. And I need another soda, so one second. <laughs> so my mom had a really good idea the other day. So I told her how I needed a mini fridge to put over by my uh, streaming equipment. That way I didn't have to get up and go walk to the fridge whenever I needed a drink. And she's like, well, why don't you get one of those cheap foam coolers and, uh, you know, get some ice beforehand and just uh, 
you know, put put your drinks in there. <laughs> like, I thought to myself, wow, that is a very cheap and effective way to do that. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> so yeah, that might be the way to go. But in 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 any in you know, if you wanted to keep it classy and have an actual mini fridge, you know. They're not that expensive. At Sam's Club, you could get a pretty nice one for about a hundred bucks. To be quite, on, quite, quite, uh, to be quite honest. Israel says that's a hell of an idea, right? That's a million dollar idea right there. The group is sitting around a campfire, finding this campsite was rough, so they are getting in a bad mood. The group eats a decent meal, sing a song, Stony plan out tomorrow. Let's sing a song. Let's let's uh, let's beatbox and you know rap. Uh, Wrap some uh, some lines. We're gonna freestyle. Oh yeah. Stony in the woods. Now there's no more hoods. Killing all these zombies and I'm feeling real good. tries to keep spirits high by freestyling whether or not the freestyling was any good mostly depends on your attitude Mushi's morale increased Travis's morale increased or decreased <laughs> he didn't like the freestyling <laughs> we're running low on gas that's no bueno we need some more gas we need at least two more for the no oh, no the car has broken down from use and abuse it won't start up again uh, let's get Daddy Gamer to try to fix it. Pops the hood, easily repairs. What the fuck, Daddy Gamer? You can fix our car, but you can't fix the other dude's car? The fuck kind of shit is that? The group is poking through an abandoned house and finds a Ouija board on the kitchen table. It's a it's a common use game a common game used to communicate with ghosts. These things are rumored to be incredibly cursed with bad luck, so beware. Still, it may be worth asking it a question. These things are rumored. To, uh, Oh shit! Damn it! It said to leave it alone. That's probably what I would have done. But I wanted, I wanted to see the other, I wanted to see the other uh, choices. Damn it! I apologize. I, I keep overshooting my, my trigger finger. I got a, I got an itchy trigger finger today. <laughs> the car has completely run out of gas and coast to a stop. Car abandoned. Damn it! We fixed it just to abandon it. I imagined we were gonna find somewhere to loot before before we had to abandon it. The group runs into a particularly rough stretch of road. There's nothing life-threatening about it. It's just a long and miserable walk. They get bruised and battered in multiple small accidents. Fuck me. Our morale decrease. Fuck. We're all hurt. Our morale decrease. Group gets sandwiched by zombie hordes while a, on a cliffside road. Without a car, the only way to escape was by jumping and hoping for the best. This fall was painful, but not fatal. God damn it. We are just having a run of bad luck right now. The game does not want us to get to Canada. Fuck me. <clears throat> The group is walking through the countryside and stumbles on burnt out cars with zombies roaming around them. This is a good opportunity to check if one of the cars still works. Sweet. But the swarm size is very thick and their their aggression is irritated. That's no bueno. And it's nightfall. That's not good. We, we don't have James Bond with us. We need to find James Bond if, if we're going to be going out during nightfall. We're going to give Mushi the fleshlight. That doesn't make sense, but it's gonna happen. Okay. I have a rifle, a pistol, and a, a meat cleaver. Well, she's got a scalpel, the revolver, the Red Dead revolver. We're, we're gonna we're gonna switch her scalpel with the kitchen knife. That might be a little better. Katana sickle and a double barrel shotgun, fire axe, a pistola with only six bullets though. Let's see. Let's let's try to get let's try to get Travis some more bullets. Let's see if if Stony will share some of his. <laughs> you damn, uh, you damn uh, hoarder, Stony. Six still. What the fuck? Okay, okay, okay. How about that? How about that? I don't think I don't think that worked either. 
does Daddy Gamer have any pistol ammo? No. How about Mushi? Mushi has some pistol ammo that she she could probably share. Nope. I don't know. I don't know. That's okay. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out later on. Mushi still needs her flashlight though. Okay. Make sure everyone else is good. Oh, hey, Travis still has a flashlight. We'll take that off and give him the scalpel. Scalpel. There we go. There we go. We're good now. We're good now. Oh damn. Oh damn. These zombies, they don't seem very friendly. Their aggression is irritated and they do not seem to be happy. They are extremely irritated and do not want to be fucked with. But guess what zombies? Y'all can't fuck with us. Oh, I missed the Zambi. Travis, where are you swinging at? What are you swinging at, buddy? Uh, switch, switch to the scalpel. We don't want, we don't want everybody to be getting tired right away. Get the guns out. Buns out, guns out. Make sure there's nuns out. Uh oh, uh oh. Travis is out of ammo. Let's go with, let's go with Daddy Gamer. He's got that. He's got that. Uh, um, he's got that shotgun. What happened to his other? Thing, whatever he had he had a katana too what happened to his katana whatever whatever it's okay it's okay daddy gamer use that shotgun do not get us cornered do not get us cornered come on come on use those weapons guys that's why we have them oh yeah what's up what's up and then we're, we're getting a, we're getting us a nice van that we could escape in oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah told you they can't fuck with us they just can't fuck with us. Not right now, not ever. Not now, not never. Giggity, giggity, goo. Alright, alright, alright. Looks like we're gonna have to get out of here. Let's get on out. Oh yeah, floor that shit. What's up? One food, 84 gas, not bad. 141 pistol ammo, nice. 31 rifle ammo, nice. 44 shotgun ammo, nice. And 65 zombies destroyed. That was really nice. If y'all didn't already know. <laughs> the group is driving down a long stretch of road. No threats on the horizon, but not much else of interest either. You have 17 food left. Unexpectedly, the group finds someone they can trade with. I guess let's check it out. There's not much food, but you never know. We might find a good deal. We have before. What does this guy want? The group sees a man. It's SUV. Do you have spare gas? I'm running out. Oh, he, two cans of food for every 25 units of gas. Dude, that does not sound like a good trade. Two cans of food for 25 gas? No, fuck no. The group sees a woman standing near a stockpile of crates. The crates seem to contain a large amount of food and drink. I got food. I'm looking for some great weapons. She takes a quick look at what Daddy Gamer is carrying. She takes a... Uh, a uh, double share barrel for three food? Fuck no. Sickle for two? Maybe. Why not? We got some other stuff. We don't need that sickle. Man, both these guys are just some cheats. Like, what the fuck is that? A sickle only worth two food? Who in the hell? Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Our wounds are getting treated. The group runs into a horde too thick to drive past and gets cornered. They run for a good place to fight a siege, but the nearby buildings all look ruined. They are in a bad spot to fight. Uh, siege alert. There's no escape. Uh oh. Horde size overwhelming and it's late morning. Okay. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. We don't need. Okay. We need to survive for one hour. We don't need any flashlights, so that's good. That's bitty 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 goo. Travis doesn't have any ammo, so that's not not good at all. Come on, who's who's got the ammo? Fork fork it over. There we go. There we go. Quit being a negative Nancy and just just uh you know help help a help a brother out. Come on, come on. What the heck? Does Stony have the ammo? Of course, Stony has the ammo. He's he's the negative Nancy. What am I doing here? I don't understand how this works. <laughs> there we go. Now he has 81. But that means he has like all the ammo. 
Where's the other pistol? Oh, Daddy Gamer has it. Okay, let's give it to Stony. Let's see, yep, nope. Now Stony doesn't have any ammo. What is? What's up with that? What is up with that? Mushi has 30. Can Mushi spare some? Oh no, Mushi has 60. How does Mushi have 60? 60? Okay, 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 okay. That should have done something. 60. Zero. Fuck. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Mushi doesn't need that. Mushi doesn't need a gun. And Mushi also doesn't need a flashlight. Um, a night stick. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we'll just put that there since Stony seems to not want to give up any of his ammo. Right? Yep. Stony just does not want to give up any ammo. Travis has 81. Let's do this, actually. We'll give it to Travis. That way, Daddy Gamer can have a scalpel and something instead of instead of just using the the double barrel. Okay. Okay. Let's take a hit and then we're going to try to we're going to try to survive this horde. Man, if we can make it onto Canada, dude, that's gonna be so cool. Cause I've never, I've never actually gotten that far in this game. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, it's a siege! It's a siege! Get the fuck out! It's a motherfucking siege! Oh jeez, oh jeez, it's a fucking siege! Get out of the way, cause it's a fucking siege! Oh, we need our shotgun, cause they don't got one. Oh, we can't go that way. Oh yeah, oh yeah, shotgun, let it spray. What am I, Dr. Seuss today? <laughs> uh, I can't turn it off, I apologize. Oh man, we're gonna be using all our shotgun ammo by, by the end of this if I'm not careful. Siege, you siege. Oh damn, they're coming up from the ground. They're coming from, from down below, six feet under. Oh, Jeebus. Oh, holy Jeebus. Oh, this is no bueno. Oh, yeah, siege is over. What's up? What's up? All right, Azriel says, uh, pick a building and wait it out, bro. Make them come to you and conserve ammo. Ah, oh, that, that, that would have been a good idea. <laughs> that would have been a great idea, actually. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> uh, yes, let's hit the road. 91 Zambies destroyed. Not bad. Not bad at all. Everybody's still somewhat okay, too, and we still have a lot of medical, so that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they are getting the hang of this. Choose a reward for the group. Uh, morale and one health healed. Uh, morale and random skill gain. Fitness. Fitness dick in your mouth. <laughs> uh, morale and one health healed. Time heals all wounds, especially Zambi bites. So his morale increase. Everybody's morale increases. We got a Zambo point. Nice. Whose health got increased? Oh, everybody's health has increased. Man, I probably shouldn't have done that. Everybody probably got healed in the first place. Damn it, I fucked up. The group camps in a sturdy building. It seems to be an old repair shop with busted ma machinery laying around. This would be a great time to train with repairing things, but that would make a lot of noise. The group eats a decent meal. Um, group camps and street really seems like you know, a repair shop and machinery really laying around. Tinker all night, just go to sleep. Tinker all night. Just tinker all night. Who doesn't like tinkering? Who should tinker with the broken machinery? I wish this would let me see everybody's, uh. Oh, it does. <laughs> Man. Mechanical. Daddy Gamer's mechanical is really good. Maybe we should send McKim. Or maybe me. Maybe Stony. What was the other thing that it said? Broken machinery. So yeah, either Stony or Daddy Gamer. Daddy Gamer is better at it though, so I'd say Daddy Gamer. Spends all night taking stuff apart and putting it back together. It's very noisy. The group will be very tired tomorrow. Daddy Gamer's mechanical increases to very, 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 very good. Everybody's very, very, very tired as well. <laughs> <coughs> huh. 
Man, I love the Venom. Thing is fucking amazing. <coughs> All right. While well, driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for d supplies. Uh, I would say crowded Yalmart, cause cabin rescue doesn't. It seems like we'd rescue somebody, but we already have four people, right? Yeah. Fuck that. The group sees a big Yalmart. A large amount of undead protects the supplies scattered around inside. Swarm size is thick. S aggression is sluggish. Ooh. Late afternoon. Thick and sluggish. I've never... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Just, uh, just forget, what I, forget what I was saying. I don't even know what I was saying. Alright, let's do this. Do this. Even with a piece of wood. A piece of wood can always help us boogie. Oh, damn. Oh damn, grab the cart. Why are you not grabbing the cart? It's okay. It's okay. I didn't want you to grab the cart in the first place. Um, let's go with Travis real quick. Will you grab the cart? You will. Why Why didn't Daddy Gamer want to grab the cart? That's weird. Oh yeah. Travis has a hell of a throwing arm with these freaking... With these freaking, um... Chopping carts. <laughs> Forgot the name of them for a second there. Oh yeah, what's up? What's up? How you doing? How you doing, Mr. Zambi? Mr. Zambo. Mr. Zamboni. <laughs> That's a blimp. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mushy's tired and not feeling good. That's not bueno. That is no bueno at all. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's time, it's time to pull the guns out. Buns out, guns out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's time to fuck this shit up. Who's got the shotgun? Who's got the shotgun? Daddy Gamer's got the shotgun. Oh yeah, blowing heads down. Blowing heads away, I should say. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And there's some medical. Got some medical supplies. I don't want to, uh... I don't want to shoot if it's unnecessary, you know? Oh yeah, all kinds of goodies. All kinds of good goodies. Look at that good good goodies. Oh, damn, in the face. All over your face, kid. Mushi needs a gun. Mushi needs a gun for show. Sure. Get that gun before somebody else steals it, Mushi. Aw, it's okay, Mushi. Don't worry. You're alright. You're alright. You don't have to do you don't have to do these awful things. Oh Mushi doesn't have any any ammo. Any ammo kablamo. What the fuck? Ammo blamo. Why can't I split these this ammo? This this does not make sense. Whatever. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah. Straight to the head. Oh, should not have shot the shot the shopping cart. She probably should have tried to throw it. Throw it. Tried to have thrown it. We've got us a couple Steves. Oh, hey, that was something on the shelf that I was able to grab. I didn't realize that. There's a knife, but I do have a meat cleaver. And a tire iron. I don't know. Maybe get rid of the tire iron. Yeah. Yeah. That feels right. That, that, feels, that feels right. Someone dropped their pistol. Who dropped their pistol? I don't know. Maybe it's just a new pistol. Oh yeah, at least Mushi's not, uh, tired and depressed anymore. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, get him with that rifle. Blah, blah. Ooh, what is this down here? What are you? A throwing boot? I don't need no throwing boot. Who throws boots? Who throws a freaking shoe? Real. There's all kinds of goodies in here though. Nice. Nice. Even some gas. 25 gas. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think we picked the right place to go, honestly. We killed most of the zombies. Got a lot of supplies. I, I feel 
I feel accomplished. I, I honestly do. Hey, we didn't even go in here yet. Uh, no need to be in here. No need at all. Just to kill more zombies, if anything. Was that it? I think that was it, right? Right? Yeah, that was it. Let's get, let's get on out. Let's skedaddle. Uh, let's skedaddle to back to Seattle. Uh, no, actually, we're going to Canada, not Seattle. Scratch Seattle. We're going to Canada. <laughs> Azrael says, of course not. She has Daddy Gamer with her. <laughs> yeah, talk about how much she's, much she's not in the, in the bad mood in the game anymore. <laughs> No, both of their moods are the same too. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> the group loots a dentist's office, finding some leftover medical supplies and any technically edible tubes of toothpaste. Daddy Gamer goes to the waiting room and grabs a magazine from their sparse selection. Pick a magazine. Glurge for the sensitive soul. Questionable science. Celeb news. Uh, questionable science? Feels pessimistic about the magazine's prediction of flying hover cars in a few years now that civilization has more or less destroyed. It was still a pretty entertaining magazine. His attitude decreased. Aww. Well, we got some medical out of that. Israel says, in Muslim society, if I am wrong, someone correct me. Uh, if you show the bottom of your feet, you are saying that they are beneath you. Also, it is a supreme insult if they hit you with a shoe. Really? Wow, I didn't know that. I, I think I, I actually, I think I did hear something about that. I'm not sure if it's uh, if it's Muslim or what it is, but I, I think I have heard something about that. So you might be correct there. You might be correct. I'm not too sure though. The group finds an abandoned campground with a fire pit. Travis even finds an old, somewhat stale, extra large pack of marshmallows. Uh, let's let's tell some stories. The group swaps stories about themselves. They learn a lot about each other, but forget all about the marshmallows. Oh, Stoner's composure is not good. Mushi's composure is not bueno. Mushi's wits are eh. Mushi's loyalty. Mushi's loyalty is amazing. Travis's loyalty isn't bueno. <laughs> Uh, the group eats a decent meal. Eight. That's not bad. We still have a good two days on us. Travis, throwing furniture at zombies seems pretty effective. Yeah, yeah, it does. Whoa, it's CDI. It's nice to see a familiar face. He is yelling at some survivors because they made fun of his hair. Oh, let's recruit him. Why not? The group is full. Who, who should we replace? We probably shouldn't separate Mushi and Daddy Gamer, so goodbye, Travis. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> uh. Azrael says, I know for a fact it's apl applicable in Iraq and Afghanistan, Afghanistan. Not sure elsewhere, though. Yeah, that's crazy. That's that's really crazy. Or like how uh, I think in the UK, the peace sign, if you're like doing it like towards, I think it's like this. That's like the middle finger over there or something like that. I can't remember. Travis gets booted out of the group. Sorry, Travis. <laughs> And the CDI yeah, comes comes aboard. His wits are good, but his attitude is shitty. The group finds a perfect throwing rock on the ground. It is next to a low fence, guarding a big fall. It's, it's next to a low fence guarding a big fall. At the bottom of this drop is a single Zambi standing there, staring at nothing in particular. It's too good to pass up. Somebody must throw that rock at this zombie. <laughs> um. Um, well, Mushi's the one who picked it up. Why, why, well, she might as well try to throw it. His, Mushi's compelled to throw the rock at the hapless zombie. She not only misses, but performs a really embarrassing throw. She stumbles and nearly falls over the fence and off the cliff. Uh oh, that's not good. Mushi's strength and fitness is revealed. Mushi's morale decreased, but CDI's morale increased. <laughs> CDI found that funny. <laughs> While driving the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies, bullet-ridden house, or hardware store. Man, we definitely need more food. But a hardware store. I don't know how much a bullet-ridden house would really have. Fuck. 
Honest Rail says, just some random knowledge that you pick up from the military. Right? That's pretty crazy, dude. Like, you guys definitely always uh, uh, teach me something new during these streams, for sure. Like, there's always something new that, that I pick up from you guys. The group sees a house from a distance. On getting closer, it looks like a large gunfight happened here between humans. From the house, many groans of the undead can be heard. Uh, swarm size moderate. They're sluggish. Late morning. We, right, we don't need no fleshlights today. CDI definitely needs a gun, though. He's, he's just got an umbrella with him. Like, what the fuck is that? I'll give him an axe as well. May I ask you a question, CDI? How good are you with an axe? Mushi doesn't have any rifle ammo, so that's no, that's no bueno. Oh, you could, you could put the rifles together and that's how you, oh, never mind. I was gonna say that's how you split the ammo, but it seems like that didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, no, it didn't split anything. Um, okay, I'll let Mushi keep the, the rifle because... Uh, Stony has the pistol, so, you know, it's kind of equal there. I think that should be okay. Let's do this. Meet Cleaver. Um, let's actually change to CDI. Let's check, let's, let's test out CDI skills with a, with a fire axe and a fire arm. Oh yeah, get him with that red dead revolver. Oh yeah. Pistol might be a little bit better. It's a little bit quicker. It doesn't have to reload as often. Man, in real life, a revolver would suck to have in a zombie apocalypse. You could only fit like up to like six in most of them. So, most of them only hold like five. And like to reload it, you gotta do it one at a time. Unless you have a speed reloader. But even if you have a speed reloader, you gotta reload the speed reload re reloader one at a time, you know? So no matter what, it's still gonna take a little bit to fucking reload that, that fucking, uh, that revolver. <laughs> nothing in here, nothing to see. Just a few Zambos, nothing to see. Let's just keep it moving, keep it moving. Keep on searching the house, see if we can find anything good to eat. Make sure we can keep our journey on to Canada going. Oh yeah, we got us some pipe bombs. Who wants them from some pipe bombs? Who needs them some pipe bombs? I think I think Daddy Gamer might need him a, a pipe bomb. Maybe Stony. Let's let's give the let's give the pipe bombs to Daddy Gamer. Uh, pipe bomb. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh wait 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 wait. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Just like that. Is that another pipe bomb? It is. Um. Grab it. There we go. Don't use it. Just grab it. <laughs> oh, shit. I used it. No! Don't die, anyone. Okay, thank God. Nobody died from that. Put that fucking pipe bomb away. That was, that was very, very bad. Very, 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 very bad. Oh, yeah. Shotgun the shit out of everybody. Y'all didn't even know what, what hit y'all. Junk. Nothing but junk in there. And some, some ass gas. Some toilet gas. Man. I really wish I didn't waste that pie bomb. That sucked. Uh, Israel says there is one that has eight cartridge ports. For, oh damn, for a for a revolver, that's crazy. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's not bad. But I mean, most pistols usually hold up to like, like from anywhere from ten up to like twenty, twenty one, like one in the chamber and then twenty in the magazine. You know. Um, well, in Colorado, you can only have up to twenty. But uh, some some of the Glocks, some, some of the pistol Glocks, uh, you can have a drum on the G18, I believe. Uh, the drum has like 80, 80 fucking shells on there, 80 fucking shots, 80 fucking uh, bullets. I can't get to this, what the fuck? Oh, I think I messed up. I messed that up. I can't get to it. Man. That's not cool. I straight messed that up. Really? I think I did. Come on. Scoot over. Scoot over, you piece of shit. Aw. Alright, whatever. It's okay. Until next time. Let's 
get the fuck out of here. Man, if anything, in a zombie apocalypse, I would want like a... Well, I have an AK-47, so I would definitely want my AK-47 with me. I would definitely want like an AR-15. Um, I would want like a... Uh, a 308. Uh, probably like a... 308 with like a fucking 16... No, like a big ASCO, like 32 by... Something, something, you know, something crazy. Something where you could pick things off from long distance if you had to. And then up close, you know, I'd have the AK or the, or the AR-15. And then I have a bunch of pistols too, so. <laughs> All I need is the, is the 308. Israel says, I got swords, axes, claws, and pole arms. I actually do have a sword and a couple of knives too, but yeah, I'm definitely, I want to look into getting like uh, replica swords, you know, like uh, like the master sword, a replica of a, like an actual, actual sword, but like a replica. Uh, and then I want to get like a keyblade, you know, but like an actual made out of metal sharp as fuck you, like if you swing it at somebody it'll actually do damage you know like I, it, it would be for show but you know it would just it would be it would be nicer if it's authentic you know like real real deal you know <laughs> Azrael says, dude, I could outfit you, me, and like four other people. <laughs> dude, that'd be crazy. That'd be awesome. <laughs> so let's see. We found nine food, one gas. Oh, really? Only one gas? Uh, one medical, 177 pistol ammo. That's nice. 41 rifle, 10 shotgun. A lot of pistol ammo in that fucking house. Israel says, wait, two weapons each, 15 people. Oh, man, that'd be crazy. <laughs> that'd be way crazy, right? I would say we should all meet up inside of a Sam's Club or, like, inside of a, inside of a, some, type, some type of warehouse like that, you know, Costco, Sam's Club, fucking somewhere where they have a lot of food and a lot of entertainment and a lot of security. <laughs> That's, like, the first place I'd want to hunker down. There's one right down the street if anything ever happens. So I'll meet you guys there. <laughs> the group sets up camp late on the nearby highway. Late on the nearby highway is a bunch of abandoned cars. They're broken, but many should have a little bit. I even walk my dog over there every single day, so I know how long it takes me to get over there. I timed it. They're broken. <laughs> They're broken, but many should have a little bit of gas. Would you like to send someone to siphon out the gas? Why not? Might as well. Would you like to send someone out to siphon out the gas? Let's send CDI since he's the new guy. Man, I could probably, f I could, let's see, I have, I have about five pistols, an AK-47 rifle, a 22 rifle. So yeah, we could, we could outfit like maybe six people with different things. And then I have a katana, a um, couple swords. <laughs> I don't have very many good skills, but in a time of in a time of crisis, I'm sure I'll figure it out. <laughs> Azrael says, Barri "Barricade the doors. I would rather hunker down in a Walmart." Man, I don't know. Walmart doesn't seem secure enough, you know. <laughs> like, cause uh, when you see. When you see uh, Sam's Club or uh, Costco or something like that at night, they have those big old steel garage doors that go over the freaking uh, entrances, and then they have like a gate and then like some some glass doors that you gotta open at the one that's at my the the one that's down the street. It's it's secure as a motherfucker, and uh, you know you could always uh, throw some uh, pellets over it or like some some big old merchandise to like block yourself inside and stuff like that and uh all the fire exits are like they don't open on the outside they only open on the inside on emergencies only so you'd be able to barricade those as well very easily like ooh, ooh, i thought about it <laughs> ah 
Yeah, Adiel says uh, Sam's clubs that I know of don't stock ammo. That is very true. That is very true. Okay, if we could hit up Walmart. No, no, no. We're gonna we're gonna hunker down in Costco first, make sure it's secured. Then we're gonna send someone out to Walmart. Walmart's right down the street. <laughs> we're gonna take all their. We're gonna take all Walmart's ammo, and then they're gonna come back, and you know we'll be fine. We'll be fine after that. <laughs> Lazrio <laughs> says, lesson one, stick them with the pointy end, right? <laughs> Alright, the group checks out what appears to be a trader settlement. They are instead ambushed by bandits who have taken it over. One of them looks injured. Uh -oh. Um Well what's going on here? I can't I can't pick. Daddy Gamer offers to heal. His medical know-how. He fixes things right up. The bandit lets the group go. Daddy Gamer's medical increases. Sweet noise. That was bitty, bitty, bitty good. We lose some gas. No, not a problem. We still have a little bit. And we're, we've gotten pretty far. A storm descends on the group. In the pouring rain, the zombies of the city search for the living. Zombie forecast. Size moderate. Aggression hunting. Current time late afternoon. Apartment with bark banner. Umbrella shop. Who the fuck... What the hell's gonna be at an umbrella shop is what I wanna know. <laughs> I have an umbrella, so no need to go to the umbrella shop, right? Right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it. Okay, okay. I think we're okay. Hey, we got Mushi in the chat. What's up, Mushi? Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate that. That's some good stuff. We actually have you and Daddy Gamer in our in our little group right now, in our uh in our death road group <laughs> well, she says oh dang I just got I just get here and we are going into craziness oh yeah I've, I have we've, we've actually gotten really far like I have not had to restart yet and we've been going for like two or three hours I hope we get to the end like I'm like really I'm really going for it honestly <laughs> Hell yeah, though. Thank you for joining us, Mushi. I appreciate it. All right, all right. Let's keep this. Let's keep this moving. Everybody's got their weapons. We should be okay. It's pouring rain. This place. These zombies. They're not very happy. But it's okay. It's okay. We're very, we're well stocked. I mean, we can't we can't exactly rely too much on the shotgun anymore. We've used a lot of those. We used a lot of those shells. So you know don't rely too much but uh it's there it's there for an escape route <laughs> I'm, I'm like trying to mentally coach myself by tell you what telling you guys what i'm thinking <laughs> oh hey it's baby <laughs> the dog seems Unusually tame. Most dogs that are still alive have become feral at this point. This dog seems eager to see humans. Let the dog follow us. Oh, hell yeah. Sit baby starts following Daddy Gamer. She could be useful if uh, you can get her out of here alive. Or a handy distraction if you can't. That's kind of messed up. But okay. <laughs> hey, we got Daddy Gamer in the chat as well. As well in the game. I'm playing as Daddy Gamer right now. <laughs> Daddy Gamer's got a, a shotgun, a pipe, some pipe bombs, and a nightstick. So, Daddy Gamer's like pretty much our, our getaway guy right now. Making sure that he doesn't accidentally use our... Oh, damn. Our heavy equipment. Unless we need to, like right now. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. What's up? What's up? That's right. Daddy Gamer's got it down. <laughs> Daddy Gamer says, Oh, Kashone Stoners, and happy birthday to the main man himself. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Definitely appreciate that big time. Hell yeah, and uh, yeah, we're just uh, doing a little bit of uh, Death Road to Canada right now. Um, I was gonna do some Jackbox games, but man, I didn't expect to get be getting this far in Death Road to Canada. So I'm thinking if we if we actually like get to the point where we're at, we're about to beat it, that's that's probably gonna be it. Cause <laughs> I've been I've been on for I've been going on for a pretty good time now. Uh, but, um, you know, if, if uh, everybody's having a good time and uh, we, we have that 
health bar die down and you know get some overtime and stuff I'm, I'm definitely willing to keep going for for an extended amount of time for sure for for the foreseeable future <laughs> but you know people people have to be having a good time for that to happen and you know it's it's just definitely been very fun definitely very fun so far this this game is fucking great i love it i love the way it's stru structured the way it's like kind of chance but at the same time you, there's a little bit of skill in it and there's like you, you really got to pay attention to everything you're doing in this game because if you if you don't you, you're gonna end up dead real fast <laughs> And I can't believe, I honestly cannot believe how far we've gotten so, so far. Like, this is definitely the furthest in this game I've ever gotten. I've never been any further than wh where we are right now. I, I either die first or, you know, something happens. We run out of food and starve or something, you know. There's always something. But we've been doing real good. Real, real good this round. Real damn good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. So there's some food in the clock for some reason. And, and medical in the clock. Whoever does that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Daddy Gamer says it's, it's like looking in the mirror. <laughs> yeah. And Azriel says, I was just I was just about to tell the, the illustrious Mushi that you two have been a part of, have been in the party for a while now. Yeah, you guys have definitely been a part of the the journey for like a good a good chunk of it, a very good chunk of it. <coughs> Every time or last time we saw someone new, uh, I made I made the excuse like you can't you can't separate Mushi and Daddy Gamer so we we got to get rid of the other person we got to get rid of the other third wheel <laughs> and that that's how we that's how we got CDI on our on our in our group right now and I have a good feeling that dog might just uh, just uh, replace him just might <laughs> uh oh. Get, get rid of the chair. We don't need a chair. Not at the moment. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nice. All kinds of stuff. Nice. <clears throat> Daddy Gamer says, We almost made it a few nights ago. We were one day off. Oh, man. Uh, Daddy Gamer also says, You and Miss Mindy were the party members on that run. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Heck yeah. It's like we're all giving each other very good luck in this game or something. Because, yeah, it seems like... I have never gotten as far as I have with with uh, you guys in the party, and you know the the way that this journey has been going has definitely definitely been some good stuff. We've definitely been getting very lucky, but your, your the skills you guys have have been coming in handy too, I guess. <clears throat> was that everything? I think it was. Huh? Nope. There's something over here. Something over here. Some bullets. Bullet bullets. Bullet bullets. Bullet bullets. Some more bullet bullets. Some shotgun bullets. So that's real nice. I like. I like me some shotgun bullets. Uh oh. Uh oh. Get get away, uh, homeless zombie. Uh, no no don't. Okay never mind. I was gonna say don't mess up the box, but it was just chips. That the chips were what was in the box. Let's see. Can any? Does anybody need a hatchet? Anybody need a hatchet, man? I think I think CDI can use a hatchet. Get rid of the scalpel. Get a hatchet. That, that sounds like a decent trade. That sounds like a decent trade. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The moment I see, the moment I see Daddy Gamer wasting shotgun shells, that shotgun is going away, buddy. <laughs> that shotgun has like been what's been saving our ass for like quite a while. That's my escape route. Oh yeah, nice. More shotgun shells. Okay, we could be a little willy-nilly. We could be a little willy-nilly. Little Willie Nelson. If you catch my drift. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. What's up? What's up, Zambi? You're gonna die in here. That's some gang initiation. Nope. Wrong way. We've already been that way. Oh, wow. Wow. There's, there's an area there. <laughs> there's definitely an area there. I don't know if I want to try to go to it oh we're 
we're gonna go to it. We're gonna go to it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Oh my Jesus. No, don't die. Don't die. Don't die, everybody. Don't die. Don't die. Let's let's turn back to Daddy Gamer. Back to Daddy Gamer. Yeah, see, he already had the shotgun out. He already had the right idea. Get the pipe bomb out. Pipe bomb. It's time for the pipe bomb. Uh-oh. There we go. Oh, no. I threw it in the wrong way. Everybody move. Everybody move. Don't be cool. Everybody move. Okay, I don't know. No, it's okay. It's okay. We took out most of them. We took out most of them, and everybody else has a gun as well. So, oh Jesus! 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 I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. We we came so far, damn it! We're not gonna die here. Not now. Mushi's gonna be our savior. Come on. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> I could do this all day. Mushi could do this all day. Oh yeah. And they they all retreated, I guess. They they knew that they were fucked fighting us. Ah, I should have brought uh, we should have brought a flashlight. What's what's wrong with us? <laughs> I didn't read the the text very well, I guess. Everybody stop moving the the chair. Why is the dog still with us? <laughs> <clears throat> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We're getting swarmed again. Uh oh. That rifle, that rifle is also a big help, it seems like. What am I holding? It seems like a pair of balls or something. What is this? Oh, it's a chair. <laughs> that looked very provocative. <laughs> Anything? Anything? No? Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. That, this was very unnecessary. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh no. No no. Oh no. Oh no. This is this is gonna be our deathbed, guys. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. No, come on. We made it this far. We made it this far, we could do this. Come on, come on guys. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, let's skedaddle. Let's get the fuck out while we can. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't die, just don't die, just don't die, just don't die. Oh my god, oh my god, where is the fucking car? Get the fuck out of here, oh my god. Get the fuck out of here, holy shit. <sighs> Oh, my heart is beating. Ejole. <laughs> Mushi says, we got this team, right? We had that. We had that real good. Nice. We got out of there with some good stuff, though. Daddy Gamer says, we will not go quietly into the night. We, we're going to fight. We're going to go on. Today we celebrate our Independence Day of Stoney's birthday. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fucking A. We're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Osrio, <laughs> clip something nice. I'm gonna have to check that out. I love watching the clips afterwards. It's it's hilarious to me. It makes me laugh. <laughs> Man, we got a lot of zombies right there. 197. Oh yeah, baby came up with us. Catches up with the group at a safe spot. She seems to like. She seems like she wants to stick around. CDI sizes up her skills. <laughs> Cindy's medical medical revealed not too good. Mechanical revealed not good. Everything is not bueno on this dog. But we're gonna we're gonna recruit her. We're gonna do it. The group is full. And guess what, CDI? I'm sorry, buddy. You're gonna get the old boot. <laughs> I'm sorry, CDI, but baby comes first. I, I thought I thought they killed baby in the wastelands. The baby. Baby is with us. <laughs> now Baby's joining the group too. Uh, the group camps out in a big field. The group eats a decent meal. Lose food. Seven. They find a raw a, a row of cans sitting on a wooden fence. Um, we should probably leave that shit alone. I don't want to waste bullets and attract zombies. Mushi said, what is CDI's trait? To see everyone's stats? I'm not too sure. It might have been because I've never seen that before. So that would explain why he was able to size up uh, baby stats. The group meets another person just chilling on a park bench. 
Uh, he seems friendly. They have a conversation just like before the world ended. What was the main topic? Uh, advice exchange. Oh, baby's just chilling here. Mushi says, hi, baby. You're gonna save us all, right? You're, you're gonna save us all, right, huh? Say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're gonna save everybody. <laughs> uh, Stony exchanges advice on different topics. The friendly survivors is enlightened by the advice and gives some great tips of his own. So, uh, our medical, mechanical, shooting, and mechanical. Wow, every, everyone had something random go up, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty nice. An enormous army of undead shambles around the carnage that surrounds the border to Canada. Many have tried to get through, but most only succeed in having their bodies added to the horde. Maybe your team will be different. This is the last chance to trade. Good luck. You have 26 food left. Dude, are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it today? Alright, alright. Let's see what these traders got to trade. The group sees a woman standing near a stockpile of crates. The crates seem to contain a large amount of food and drink. I got food. I'm looking for some great weapons. She takes a quick look at what Moose is carrying. She, uh, sell a cowboy rifle for one food. Oh, this lady. This lady is a ripoff. Fuck that. That's what it. Hey. It's Dolly! <laughs> we got Dolly over here. Dolly is hanging around the camp. She has been waiting for you to show up. <laughs> oh, we got we gotta recruit Dolly. I'm sorry, baby. I think you're gonna be replaced. I'm sorry, buddy. You just don't you don't have any skills. You don't bring any skills to the table. I'm sorry, buddy. Dolly's been waiting for us. <laughs> And, and you'll be you'll be all right with all these guys. You, you'll be all right in this camp. I'll come back for you. I promise. I promise. The group sees a man standing there in an SUV. Do you have any spare gas? I'm running out. Uh, he offers you to give you two cans of food for every 25 units. We don't even have any gas. Fuck. That's not good. That's not good. Does anybody have gas we can take? Uh, uh, healing spray for six food. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Uh, 26 food, flashlight for one food, tactic corp light, what is that? For five food, tactic corp, tactic cop light, well, I don't know, I think healing spray might be nice. Fuck me, I don't know. <laughs> she says, haha, hey Dolly. <laughs> Daddy Gamer says, and she'll be cursing like a sailor in our ears the rest of the day. <laughs> oh, I don't know, that's funny. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, let's get the healing spray. Let's do it. Fuck it. We might need it. We just might need it. Who's this? Nobody that we need. Blade Master. The group needs a man who's carrying many swords. They clank around when he moves. Show me your moves. One day I'll make the finest zombie slicing sword ever seen. I just have to figure out how to make a sword. I'll sell you some I found. Let's see, Night Sword for 20, that's not bad. Cheap Katana for 5, Saturday, or Sturdy, Saturday Machete, Sturdy Machete for 12. Hmm. I mean, we still need some food to get to Canada, so I think I think we should be okay with what we got. I think we should we should probably, uh, you know, take our losses and get, get the fuck out of here. Just get, get the fuck out. Fuck, we don't have any gas. <laughs> Oh, that's scary. Azrael says, healing spray. Yeah, yep, I got the healing spray. And Mushi says, machete. <laughs> uh, let's hit the road. Oh, man, I do not like walking. <laughs> Daddy Gamer said, oh, my baby was still following. <laughs> close to the border. Oh, we're close to the border, guys. Giant armies of undead perpetually perpetually alert around the Canadian border unable to cross the group gets caught up in a lesser storm before they can find a safe camp siege alert siege alert there's no no escape nightfall and the horde size is overwhelming the length is 1.5 hours seek shelter in a cabin we still have we still have flashlights though so we're okay we're okay we still have flashlights we got some healing spray should I be yeah yep Dolly Dolly has some kung fu action though. I don't know if we should bring the healing spray. 
Yeah, cause yeah, cause I mean Dolly's uh, special, her, her her specialty is something crazy. Yeah, see, perk martial artist. So being able to use her hands is like the best thing. Okay, okay. So we're not gonna overwhelm Dolly with too much stuff. I don't think we really need a hockey stick. Oh, no ammo, no ammo. Let's let's take the hatchet. I'm a hatchet man. Does anyone else have ammo for this? No. Does Mushi have ammo? Mushi does have ammo. Being stingy with that ammo. <laughs> I, I just don't know how to reload them. I don't know how to load them up with uh with bullets. Daddy Gamer says, this is where it got us, the siege. <laughs> Azrael says, remember to create a choke point, force them into a small area where the party is where the party is buildings are great for this okay so like where it narrows out where they're coming in that way we could shoot them a lot easier i think i get what you're saying i get you i get you okay okay we should be okay like this i hope so oh damn oh damn oh damn oh damn oh damn oh damn i'm so scared i'm so scared oh hey looky look at all this look at all this gold look at all that gold Oh damn, who's got the shotgun? Who's got the shotgun? Daddy Gamer's got the shotgun. We need to control that shotgun. Oh damn, oh damn, oh damn. Oh yeah, what's up? What's up, zombies? Feel the wrath of Daddy Gamer. Y'all ain't shit. Oh damn. Feel the wrath of my entire team. The entire 420 Blazing Squad. <laughs> we shoot first, ask questions later. Sometimes we don't even ask questions. Oh, I probably shouldn't have even shot. <laughs> Sometimes we shoot just to shoot. We got itchy trigger fingers. Can't blame us. Oh damn, oh damn, oh damn, oh damn, oh damn. Everybody pull your guns out. Guns out, runs out. Guns out, run out. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. There's not too much shotgun ammo left. That That's no bueno. And that does not make me feel comfortable at all. Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. Does anyone else have ammo? I, I don't think so, right? Dolly has that kung fu action, so it's okay. Um, Daddy Gamer, uh, you can keep this. No, you need something else because that shotgun. Okay, Mushi should be okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's uh. Let's go to Mushi and shoot that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We're still okay. We're still fine, guys. We can make it. We can make it. I believe in us. I believe in us more than I've ever believed in anything. Oh, God. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, me. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. The siege is over. We could try to get on out. We could get on out. Azrael says to crowd the door. And uh, to perfect spot. Yeah, I should probably go back there if I can't. Mushi says, let's go, ride or die. <laughs> and uh, Daddy Gamer says, I don't think you can split similar ammo between guns. Yeah, I don't think so either. I've been trying. <laughs> uh, and Daddy Gamer also says, and the question we ask, how did it feel to get shot? <laughs> Israel says, crowd the door. Okay, yep, yep, yep. If we... I think I think we should be okay. I can get out of here. Yep, 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 yep. We we straight survived that with no particular casualties. Let's get let's get on out. Are we? Are, did we make it to Canada? Is that what that means? 105 zombies destroyed that easily? Damn. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they are getting the hang of this. Um, let's see. Um, let's go shooting because our shooting is what's been keeping us alive so far. <laughs> Azrael says, siege is over, so no worries. Good work. Lucy says, border. Oh, we're at the border? Okay, no worries. We're, we're getting there, though. Getting used to these zombies makes for sturdier aiming. Stony shooting is revealed. Everybody's shooting is revealed. But it's getting better, too, though, so that's good. 
man, all our zom or all, all I was gonna say all our zombo points, all our shooting uh, is not very good. But our zombo points, we need to we need to spend those today. The group prepares for the brutal day ahead of them. Canada is close, but the zombie forecast is bad. The group eats a decent meal. Eight. Okay. Mushi's morale increases. Dolly's morale increases. Stony is raring to go. Stony's dexterity increases. Nice. We're we're getting good. We're getting good at this, guys. Aw, oh, baby, what's wrong? Are you cold, buddy? Man, he's just not used to not having any fur. He's like shaking. You're all, you're all right, buddy. You're all right. I'm sorry. I'm from the mountains, dude. I I need it to be cold like this. <laughs> Nearly at the border of Canada, the group is surrounded by a seemingly endless undead. To survive, they must face one last siege. This is the final siege, but not the last battle. Oh, dude, guys, we're almost there. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. We might actually do this. So, horde size overwhelming. Current time, afternoon. Nice. Okay. Four hours. All or nothing. Baby, come on. Chill, buddy. Just sit down. Just chill. <laughs> Not like you've been all cold and shit, just chilling like that. I mean, chill, like sit and hang out. You just do your thing. But am I? Oh yeah, Daddy Gamer has some some pistol ammo. We could definitely give Daddy Gamer some pistols, some pistols to hang out to. Um, okay, okay, okay. I feel I feel good in that. We need to get rid of that shotgun because the shotgun ain't got none. It ain't got nothing in it. Or does it? Nope, it doesn't. The stony, nope. Okay, no Estonia on this one. Okay, okay, okay. We should be okay. I think we should be okay. Daddy Gamer says, go, go, go. And Mushi says, I believe in the 420 Blazer Squad. <laughs> Hell yeah, thank you, Mushi. And Azriel says, uh, this is where you can create the choke point in a, in a building. Okay, okay. We could definitely do that. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I understand what you mean. Like, make it so that they're coming through the door and make it so that they're squeezing in, like, and I and I, I have a perfect shot on them each time. I'm pretty sure that's what you mean. Azrael says, yeah, best room to do this is in the bathroom. Okay, no problem. All right, going to take another hit real quick with Baby on my lap because he doesn't want to go anywhere. That was kind of kind of cashed. I'm gonna hit this one too. Good stuff. I'm gonna grab one more soda too. Sorry guys. Freaking baby, he's so cute. He just, he's so damn adorable now. <laughs> Azrael says, force them to come at you one at a time and bingo. Okay, yep, definitely. I get you. I get you, buddy. I get you. <laughs> Man, that cotton mouth. I, I'm sorry, guys. I just have to be prepared. I have to be prepared for this. We're gonna make it. We're gonna fucking make it to Canada. I've never done this before. Never got all the way through. But with Stony, Mushy, Daddy Gamer, and Dolly, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. And plenty of help from many others from from a, along our journey. It's been a it's been a hell of a road so far. It's been a hell of a death road to Canada. Oh, we've got us some freaking propane tanks. Oh my god. No way. Mushies, mushies, mushies. Get out of the way, guys. Get out of the way. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay. Okay, that was fine. That was fine. That was fine. Okay, get out. Get out. Let's get towards towards some uh, a good horde over here, wherever we can. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good either. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Where's Dolly? Where's Dolly? Get that spray. Get that spray ready. Get that spray ready, Dolly. Um, 
I don't think Dolly can use the spray. Um, um, okay, let's give it to, let's give it to Mushi. Mushi can, Mushi can use it. Uh, we'll spray. Okay, I definitely, oh, look at here, we got some heals. Okay, I definitely healed Daddy Gamer and Dolly. Now we just need Mushi and Stony. Okay, where's Stony? Come on, buddy, stand still, stand still. Oh no, that was that was the end of it. That was the end of it. Well, Mushi's not too far, not too bad. We could still, we could still, um, we could all definitely surround Mushi and keep her safe. <laughs> Mushi's OMG, I'm so nervous and excited. Vigi Game Sports. <laughs> Mushi says, Warrior Tremble. We got this, we got this, Mushi. I hate that they're coming through the ceiling as well. But the way that they're coming in right now is alright. Just that ceiling thing, that's the only thing bugging me. I was just, I was just making sure, making sure. Okay, okay. Oh my, oh me, oh my. I should probably just stay in there, huh? No, yes, I don't fucking know, shit. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go back in. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. We're okay. We're okay, guys. We're okay. Okay, now we gotta go to Stony. Oh, man. Oh, man. Ah, oh, this was probably not a good idea. This was probably not a good idea. We're gonna have to exit out of here. We're gonna have to get out of here the next chance we get. We're not gonna get a chance to get out of here. Oh, fuck me. Oh, no, 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 no. This isn't good, guys. This isn't good. This isn't good. Oh, no. Stony's gonna die. Stony's dead. Stony's dead. Stony's dead. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. No, Stony's dead. Stony's definitely dead. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Everybody's fucked. Everybody's completely fucked. Oh, Mushi's got some freaking ammo. Okay. No, 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 come on, come on, Mushi, pull out, pull out, pull out, there we go, pull out, <laughs> pull out the gun, <laughs> I couldn't say it, no, don't die on me, don't die on me now, oh god, no, this isn't good, this is not good, guys, this is not good, oh jeez, everybody's tired too, get out of there, get out of there, they're focused, they're focused on Stony. get out of there, Get out of there, get out of there, skedaddle, skedaddle. Let's get the fuck out, get the fuck out, get the fuck out. Stony's not gonna make it, but Mushi is. Mushi's gonna keep the dream alive. As long as Mushi makes it, Stony makes it in, 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 uh, in spirit, you know? Oh god, oh god, oh my god. Who had the, oh, I think Stony had the freaking shotgun, didn't he? Shit. Shit, 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 shit. That's not good. That is not good. Oh, get by him. Get by him. Ah, oh, this is not good. Man, I don't know. I don't know. Ah, uh, Azrael says at least the time advance is fast, right? Azrael also says the zombies coming from the ceiling threw me off. I take res responsibility for this death. <laughs> no worries, dude. That's not your fault. Not your fault at all. Oh, I can't leave. I can't leave either. This isn't good. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. We're screwed. We're so screwed. We are so screwed. We are so fucking screwed. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm, this was a bad idea to come back in here, but I didn't know what else to do. I just prolonged the in inevitable. No! We were there. We were there. We were there. No. <laughs>
Oh, the siege is over too. We actually, we we lived through the siege. No, please. Oh, no, we're all dead. Oh, it was right there too. Right there on our fucking, the, 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 our, our fingertips. Our fucking fingertips. Ah, oh, man. Uh, don't blame yourself, Azrael. Do not blame yourself in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> Musha says, we can do this. Believe. That's awesome, though. So close. Right? Ah, oh, I can't believe. I, 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 oh, I cannot believe we've gotten, that we got that fucking far. That's crazy. That I have never been so close to getting across that, that freaking border. I've never, ah. Oh, that was a good run. That was a good run. We've been up. We've been going for like three, three hours and something. Three hours and a half. Yep, three and a half hours. Like perfectly on the dot. We like ended perfectly. That's crazy. <laughs> Man, it's four oh nine over here. Um, I'm not too sure if uh, the later stream is gonna be possible. Uh, I'll do everything I can. I I just don't want to do stuff at the same time. Game Attack does, you know, because you know it it makes people. Like it, it would make it so that people would have to like split between them, you know, and I I, I don't want to do that. Plus, I, I would like to watch Game Attack as well, you know, and, you know, it's, it's just, it's a whole thing. But, um, man, that was crazy. That was a good run. Definitely a good run. I enjoyed that. I'm glad you guys were here to uh, enjoy that with me as well. I'm sorry we didn't play any Jackbox games, guys, but, uh, you know, at, at first there wasn't too many people hopping in. You know, I didn't think that it'd be too fun with just, like, three of us. And um, once more people started popping in, we got further than I've ever been on this game, and I didn't want to just stop, you know, because... We, we almost beat it. We almost fucking beat it. We were so close. We were right there. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys again. Um, I'll, I'll give you guys details of uh, what's, happen on, what's happening later on if I'm able to uh, stream again. Um, I'll figure something out. Who knows? But um, thank you guys so much for joining me right now. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.